hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Astartes Anonymous podcast, where today I have once again been joined by the most incomprehensibly down bad individuals in the 40k YouTube space. Yippee! So, thank you once again, Arthur, Devin, Alex, and Zarek, for coming together for this incredibly cursed endeavor. How are we all doing this evening? I'm very good. I'm like a like a solid 6 out of 10, doing, doing positively adequate. <laughs> I want to 1-up him, I'm 7 out of 10. <laughs> Positively whelming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am doing good and excited to talk about some necrosy. Whoa! Great. Oh, but... I'm leaving. <sighs> I'm... You, you cause me pain. Don't worry. It's fine. Not you, him. <laughs> <laughs> I was told the podcast was... Top 10 least horny 40k moments. I didn't know we were doing this. Oh, no, no, I will. <laughs> okay, right. Fuck it. Uh, models of the week. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Models of the week. Right, let's start with... Let's start with Alex's model of the week. Let's see it. So we have a wonderful uh, Mephitic Blight Hauler by a user on our Discord known as Manga or uh, Mangatuga. And this is a wonderful, yeah. uh, colorful little thing. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, so I instantly, like, it instantly showed up for me for, it has a cute little eye in the middle of the, the little face plate. It's super well painted. Yeah. Um, the colors on the plating itself are really well chosen. He has a nice cold blue undertone, but then a warmer green on top, giving it a quite sickly look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then together with that really orangey rust underneath it, it looks so clean. Yeah, no, it's really, really good. I really like this one. It's uh, all the complementary colors as well. You can sort of imagine a whole army like this. It's it's sort of reminiscent of, um, to me at least, it's a little bit reminiscent of Eons of Battles, Death Guard Force at the moment. Oh, yeah, true. Mm. Very colorful, neon and poppy, you know? Yeah, I think it has the same gradient too. He's done a great job on the trim. Yeah, the trim itself as well is really good because it has like these nice cold patches in themselves and with these nice bright white highlights. But yeah. then where the rust seeps in, you can also kind of see some yellowing on the highlights themselves. Yeah. Which is a super clean and super nice little detail that gives it a lot of depth. Yeah, wonderful job. And uh, excellent little bit of detail there. Yeah. That, that he's done. Really, really great job. Really, really great job. So, wonderful, wonderful job, Manga. Good job, Manga. With your mephitic blight hauler. So, next up for the models of the week was chosen by Arthur. <laughs> and Arthur has picked a Night Lord's Mark V Apothecary. Whoa. I wonder who this is reminiscent of. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, full stop. I just thought it was a cool model. I just always like Mark V plate armor, and I love the Night Lord scheme on Mark V plate armor. Yeah. But one of my favorite aspects, and one of the most underwhelmed or underchosen things that people do when they're painting, like, Horus Heresy era Night Lords, is the, the corpse paint circle for Night Lords, because... Yeah. It, like, a lot of people would paint the face plate, but not the, the circular brow above it. And I find with things like the Mark V and, like, armors afterwards, like the Mark Seven and so on, it adds this kind of prominent skull face. And I find uh, the individual Odin who did this is, they did a good job, especially with, like, the, the, the darker shades around it. Now, yeah. I'm not a paint expert, but I do really like the way that this model turned out. And it's also because I'm painting... Horror Heresy models right now, so it's giving me an appreciation for the little details of the the highlights and shit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree, and I will throw this out there: the Mark V, the Horus Heresy Mark V Apothecary model, is one of the best uh, standalone character models that is available to the Horus Heresy right now that any Legion can use. Yeah, I'd agree. It is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, beautiful model. Comes in a kit of two. But the other one's not Mark V, but yeah. Looks pretty epic. Yes, yeah, you yes, you get the Mark um yeah, you get the Mark Six Apothecary with it as well. Yeah, it's a great, great kit. Yeah. Really, really worth it. I really like his knee pads. They just look really nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, no, well, he's got the depths on them. The, the the sort of the dark into the light depths are really nice. Very crisp, very nice. Big ups, my man. I give it the gold skull. I don't know. <laughs> I give it seven skins out of four. Good job, uh Odin. Yeah. Right, moving on, we have uh, a model selected by Devin, and this is by Borks, a.k.a. Noah. And this is a wonderful Chaos Knight Armiga. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like the glow effects and how they comp uh, contrast the red. Oh, the green is lovely. It's so bright and poppy. It's um, yeah. it's, it's a hot green. There's some glow effects on the base as well that look really, really lovely. Yes. Really, really great model that he's done here. The base is another really cool thing, yeah. I think uh, the graffiti and 
What is he stepping on? Oh, a dreadnought. Yeah, the Imperium yeah. lies. That's a whole. That's a whole ass use of a fucking uh, Ultramarines contempt to dreadnought down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. They magnetized the head. They did. Yeah. They did. Yes. Alternative heads. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, that's really cool. That's incredible. Pretty nuts. Do they, by chance, magnetize the weapons as well? No. Not at least in this, not from this image at least. But that's... You know what? They might not have painted them up. If they magnetize the face and not the weapons, based. You're so based for that. That is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, literally the least practical use of magnets, but that's the kind of shit that I would do. <laughs> But that's the best use of magnets. Uh, yeah. yeah. Also, on both the lens um, on the faceplate and like the lens on top of the carriage, um, I really like the pearl effect he's got going on with the darker midtone, super bright highlights, and like the lighter underside. Yeah. It looks super clean. Yes. Yeah, really, really, really great job there, Box. Wonderful, wonderful miniature. Uh, so. Thank you, Box, for the cool mini. Moving on, next we have. Zarek's choice, and Zarek has picked a model by Bone Boy, and this is Bone Boy's chapters, uh, his, his homebrew chapters Terminator, a Terminator from his homebrew chapter, with what he has dubbed the Banner Boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the teddy bear, that's cute. It's so good. Oh my god, this is, there's a teddy bear on the side of the Terminator! <laughs> Yo! There, there are so many layers to this. I picked this, first of all, because I saw a little guy. And I love a space marine accompanied by a little guy. Mm -hmm. that, that makes it 10 times better, 100% of the time. Real. And the kit bashing on the Terminator is kind of smooth. It's really quite smooth. I like that the, the Storm Bolter is actually the combi bolter, I think, from the Cataphracty kit. It is. And he's put a, yeah, it looks like it. He's put a um, bolt rifle scope on the top of it as well. Oh. Mm hmm. They got all those pouches on the chest, really practical, pretty cool. Uh, and then, like, I didn't notice. Until after picking this, that oh my god, there's a little teddy bear on the on the waist. I love that. That is adorable. <laughs> it's also a really good use of the uh, Legion back banner. Yeah, mm. um, that he's used as a little banner for the banner bear guy. That's so cute. Yeah. No, wonderful, wonderful job there, Bone Boy. Uh, it is very nice. Adorable little. Does anyone know what kit that teddy bear's from? I'm going to assume it's from a Lego kit or something, right? <laughs> it looks like a Lego, yeah, I was going to say that. No, no, I think that's from one of those Make Your Own Jewelry kits, actually, because you notice it's got that glossy sheen on it. Oh, oh, the oh yes. Ooh. Yeah. I was going to say Polly Pocket, but that's a... Yeah. yeah. The Lego teddy bear, the arms would be able to be held by minifigures, mm -hmm. so it's not a Lego. Yeah. But it's in the same pose as the Lego one. <laughs> It's so, a kit bash in the truest sense of the word. Mm. Yeah, good job. Yeah, that was pretty epic. Yeah, great job, great job. Wonderful. Impressive, uh, wholesome, adorable, and I think it extended my life by five years. Yeah, nice. yes. Yeah. This pod, the rest of this podcast will uh, take off five years, so. Yeah. At least, you'll if be, you are lucky. Like, net, <laughs> net, <laughs> yeah. Net zero. Be gone, grim dark. Here we come, grim cute. I, th I think I'm going at like a net negative of like two years by the end of this. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll put a counting. Or I'll put a counter up for myself. <laughs> So next one uh, was picked by me, and this is by N Filler. And N Filler has created a wonderful, what looks like a homebrew warband uh, berserker of some kind. Yo. I honestly just love the paint job. It's just a really honest attempt at uh, doing a, um, I want to say a heavy metal inspired paint job, but obviously, you know, doing your own colors, putting your own paint on it. The little red markings are really nice. Love the green eyes. Yeah. The red leather. I just think it works really well. I could very easily imagine a cannon warband in this color scheme. Yeah, I think the tan is interesting. I've never seen a, a berserker in tan, or even a marine, I don't think. Yeah. That's so wild. I wanted to... I was looking at this earlier, and I think I mentioned this, but I didn't mention this part. The reason why I was like looking at it and kind of impressed is because... Through sheer coincidence, this is almost identical to the scheme that I use for my homebrewed Nurgle, like, Death Guard warband that I've never shown to anyone. Ah. It's weird, right? <laughs> he copied you. He broke into your home and copied it. <laughs> I mean, he does it better than me, so... Stole him? Do you reckon we could get a picture? We could get a picture of the Arthur special we could post on the screen, perhaps? Uh, just, I got some that I'm working on right now. Uh, they're not done, but I have the main armor base scheme done. It's not going to show the cool little glowy bits that I have. The other ones I keep in my miniature storage room, so if you want, like, full images, I could go and get them, but for the sake of ease, I'll just show... 
a quick image of what I'm working on right now so you can kind of get there. Very, very not done. Well, let me get the grease filter off my phone so it doesn't look like the fog is trying to take me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to show off. It's 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 always fun to get an opportunity to show off other creators' models because, like, obviously we're not as as far as YouTubers go, we're not um, like on the modeling side of the 40k YouTube sphere. Yeah. So it's it's rarer that models we would have made will sort of like appear on the internet space. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Devin. If you want to post that wonderful uh, that one of those wonderful homebrew space marines of yours, I'll, I'll, we'll get that on the screen as well because I love your chapter's color scheme. Oh, I don't know if I have any pictures let me look if i have any yeah so these i literally just got like the beige and blue of these guys done uh everything else i'm working on but it see what i mean it's so weird that they're like basically the same oh that's cool mm -hmm. yeah oh is this a uh, what's it called um the oldie timey divers yeah oh i like that one yeah that looks cool yeah divers thing going on like a bit of a subnautical kind of death guard thing going on shout out to mezgeik miniatures who created the greatest proxy miniatures for death guard i've ever seen in my life yeah real i like those barnacles <laughs> they're really fun yeah the barnacles are great mm. they're great <laughs> Yeah, a painting them is a bitch though, because I was <laughs> like, I'm like, okay, I'm finally done. Let's do one last look. I missed like five. And then I'll do it, do it again, and be like, oh, there's like another six there that I missed. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it's taken a while. Dude, if you get Nurglings, you need to give them like gills and fins. Oh, yeah, oh. that'd be sick. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, there are, there's a, the plague. No, pox walkers that are like drowned ones, and they look really cool. Yep. Ooh. Oh, in the um, in the Gellapox. Oh, the kill team, the Gellapox kill team kit. It's all they're all Nurgling, not Nurgling. They're all Nurgleified, but they're all also yeah, the Glitchlings, subaquatic as well. If you look closely, the the big guys are all like pirates and sailors, and the yeah, they got tentacles. Mm -hmm. They all have like, pe some of them have peg legs and things. So there's a whole thing going on there that you could maybe use. Yeah, I wanted those because they uh, fit my homebrew. I bought the I bought the Mezgeik, um STLs, but then I was like, oh, I hate my printer. <laughs> so I might just like <laughs> either buy a new one or commission someone to print it for me. Yeah. Yeah. These miniatures are top tier. They're one of the reasons why I actually got a 3D printer because these miniatures like... I don't know if I've sent this one. They're so good. Their, their pox walkers are good. But yeah, no, I, I just, yeah. Sidetrack. But like, I just thought it'd be funny to bring that These up. These are awesome. Have I sent this picture before, Tom? I don't remember. Let's see. That's the most recent one I painted. A little veteran. Oh, I love him. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Perhaps, I haven't seen this, but I love him. Yeah, that's crispy. Thank you. That's clean as hell. I love that. I hate painting white, but I was like, the veteran scheme looks so cool. Which chapter? Oh, that's my homebrew. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Yes. Looks great, though. The Abyssal Drakes. Thank you. Dude, it's so perfectly mid-hammered. This is my <laughs> yeah. favorite era of minis. I love That's it. That's why I love those. That's why I love those, um... Yeah. The Space Marine Hero Tacticals. Like, they're perfect. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Working with fine cast is dog shit, but, like, the miniatures, if you can get them to look actually nice, fine cast miniatures, they looked so zesty. <laughs> They look so yeah. sauce filled. I love them so much. Oh yes. <laughs> well, yeah. I painted I painted the vestments too, the fine cast ones, and I actually really love them. Um, oh yeah. Let me see if I picture that too. You ever do a thunderfire cannon? There he's next to my little guy. I got more, more. Um, I think the vestments, the old design, like it's very subtle, but I like uh, the little details of the old design. Yeah, a lot more than the new ones. But the new ones look nice too. It's just that they're more generic bug look, which, like, I don't know. I do prefer the old one. Whoa, what's that in this image? Is it a Devon special Kazakin? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> in the same green. Oh my god! Wow. I I converted that. Uh, the metal and that was a pain but he has two guns now and that's really cool oh, that's super awesome all my homies love two guns that, is, that looks amazing it's like that uh, Mo meme where he has two knives <laughs> <laughs> right ladies and gentlemen should we get along yes absolutely with today's bastardizing topic yeah, so just as a refresher and for anyone uh, joining us who hasn't seen the previous episode we are playing Bed Wed Purge I'm going to throw up three uh, subjects, I'll say. Could be uh, an individual, a character, a unit, so that, anything really. Uh, and you'll have to choose which you would rather bed, wed, and purge. God help us. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to get things started, I'm going to throw at you uh, 
the first round. So this is a continuation. Oh no! Of the the set that I put together for the last episode, as uh, we were interrupted by uh, Discord. We love you, Discord. Uh, please stop throttling our uh, our, our bit rate. Um, oh, oh! Here's the first round. Oh, there we go. The Vespid. <laughs> Going right into the deep end. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, God. The deep end. So this this is the Tau special. Ah. So we've got Crit, Vespid, and this is specifically an air cast Tau. Oh. oh. Hollow bones. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> oh. And the thing is, they're all like probably two heads taller than you, if not more. Mm -hmm. There's like twice your height. <laughs> I'm going to start this one off right and fucking degenerate. Mm. Um, Here we go. So You fucked the Vespid. Oh. No, oh, God, no. I'm not. Okay, listen. I'm not that far gone. Okay, few. Few. <laughs> <laughs> few. Um, but, okay, so say we bed something. Is that the end of it? Is there like a, con can we be friends afterwards? Or is this just like a you toot it and boot it kind of dealio? What's the what's the situation <laughs> here? Because this, this heavily enhances my answer. I think toot it and boot it, as you so, so brilliantly put it. Well, I didn't want to say a va like, like ejaculate and evacuate. I feel like that one's more vulgar. Like, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fucking, um, I feel like the only safe option for, like, the bed is the, the air cast Tau, because, I mean, depending on who you are, hollow bones, like, literally skin made of paper, bones made of glass, like, it's, they're dead afterwards, but, like, <laughs> God! like, if, if, I feel like if you, if you fuck a Vespid and then never call back, it's like, you're dead, you're getting attacked by the swarm, and also gossip. Oh, no. <laughs> right? They're hive mites. Zip! Yeah, they're a hive mind of gossipy bug people. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. That's weird. But think about it like this: if you have your air cast husband or wife, then they can like use the mind control helmets to tell the Vespas not to kill you. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not. I'm not okay. We can't introduce the tech this late into the game that all three of these individuals have to interact like they're greedy exes. Like, like if I if I if I wed the air cast how and have a, a, a night of raw raucous passion with the crew i can guarantee you there's gonna be some discourse later so <laughs> i gotta say uh marry the crew we're gonna wed the crew because that's just an adventure that's a good time that's like a oh hello hubby welcome back to the welcome back to our little dirt tent here have a steak from an animal you've never had be seen before i'm like <laughs> Oh man, where'd you find that? I don't know, but we killed all of them and ate the rest. Here's the last steak of it that ever existed ever. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's so sweet. And we will have whatever flying zebra meat that they found and we're going to eat it and it's going to be terrible, but that's every day and that's a new experience. I'm just going to have to say purge the Vespid because like, I don't even think I could. I don't even think I could feasibly <laughs> especially not the new design with their disgusting little mandible mouths i don't like bugs and i have very mild scopophobia i don't like being looked at and there's a lot of eyes there and like they communicate through like their antenna so after it's done i don't want to hear like a chittering and then be like them laughing oh. <laughs> just starts vibrating around <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just like, uh, the, like I somehow find a way to communicate with them, and then I just hear, guys, you'll never guess what happened. Like, I don't want to hear that. So, yeah, we're going to purge the Vespid, and I, I guess just, just brutalize the Tau, unfortunately. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, you know, you don't have to go crazy style. You could, you know, just be gentle with the... Poor Tell Aircast Woman. Okay. A bit of Marvin Gaye. Okay. You know. I didn't say that I knew we had to. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to break every bone in its body. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Arthur's like, what's the point in having glass bones if you're not going to break them? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, so, counter arguments. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no. You can't just post that image and be like, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> so, 
They're avian. They don't have mammary glands. They could. So. They could. I would go, as uh, seeing as crude are able to, like, I would not want to, to wed the crude because I have to fear that over time, uh, other crudes are going to start looking like me. And that's just not something I'm into. It's not, that's kind of weird. That's kind of goofy. It's kind of spooky. So. It's a one time only. It's you, you scoot into it, you get out. <laughs> um, the Vespid horrifies me. Yeah. Yeah, we kill that uh, shit. On a base level. I hate anything that is bug related. Yeah. Uh, if it moves and it makes a skittering noise, I will start crying. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll just start inconsolably crying. You're no Omni Man. Um, and on the the Tau fire, like the, the Tau uh, aircraft, like it's kind of cool. They're pilots and shit. That's pretty cool. They can fly around. So I would probably just wed the Tau because you get to go places and things. Yeah. The crude's just a one time only because eight foot dummy mommy is cool and all, but also spooky as hell. So you know what? I do not. It, it's it is a carnivore hunter creature, and I'm horrified of that. So yeah, that is my um, coward. However, though, I have to say, the good RPs. Uh, that art piece of the Crute Lady is by Wolf Dog Art, if I recall correctly. I'm quite familiar with his artwork. <laughs> Looks like one of his. <laughs> oh. Was that a self-report or I don't know the artist. I just... <laughs> he doesn't do much stuff like... I don't think he does anything like this. I guess one day he was just feeling his beans and this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he had the Crute is his jam. <laughs> It's not canon. The crew, the crew women don't have boobs and they don't have thick thighs. They have chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. The kill team crew leader is a canonical woman and she doesn't look like that. Not at all. <laughs> I was uh, operating under the assumption that they, I was the regular crew. I'm having a stroke. Um, <laughs> He's going insane. <laughs> I was operating under the assumption that we were going with canon crew anyway. So y'all are just cowards. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, you're the type of person to put powdered sugar on your waffles, okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just be aware, if you marry the crew, there is like a 100% chance that uh, they'll eat you if you die. And? Was I, I'm not going to be doing anything anyway. <laughs> fair. Fair. Yeah, fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Arthur's like, did I fucking stutter? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I expected. With my bad genetics? <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all are just like, dummy, mommy. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. They're, nah, I'm not finishing that sentence. I won't stay in the vault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you lot. No one's going to complain about being eaten. I won't stay in the vault. I was like, we're not finishing that logic chain. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I think I agree with Alex, though. I think I would have to marry the air cast. Incredibly base. <laughs> Having a pilot wife, that'd be kind of based. Nah. For the sake of happiness, Arthur sold me. <gasps> what? For the sake of happiness, I've, I've been sold on Arthur's choice, 100%. But it would be like, it would be like Tau Top Gun. They would be playing volleyball because they're tall and they're pilots. So they'd always do shirtless volleyball. And that'd be really cool. Food for thought. <laughs> yeah, but they're built like Iggy Pop. No, but no, that's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like six foot eight and like 110 pounds soaking wet. I don't, I'm sorry, man. That's almost the same exact description as a crude, though. <laughs> Yeah, but nah, they're like seven feet tall and 400 pounds, and they look like Iggy Pop still. Yeah, they are muscular, but... Oh, no, cr cr um, yeah, crew are muscly as fuck. Yeah, they're they're literally built for labor. I think they're also canonically, like, their muscles are extremely dense, so they look skinny, but they're actually... It's like a Halo Elites. <laughs> it do not be jiggling, it's just rock hard. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> So those those beautiful bodacious dyes that were drawn, those wouldn't even be fun to play with. They would be like <laughs> hitting a titanium rod. It's like hitting a rock. Yeah, and that would hurt. That would hurt. Me. <laughs> you guys are cowards. I'd rather uh, not break myself. <laughs> Nah. Oh, Christ. All right, let, let's move on to the next one because holy shit, we could. <laughs> I, I don't want it. I don't want to get stuck on the crew. <laughs> so, this next round is funny, right? Uh, I, I call this one uh, Contest of the Thrupples. Uh, now, this is. Oh. In this scenario, there are three couples that you have to third wheel. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, third wheel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, we have here Gilliman and Yvrain. <laughs> Well, I would number one, obviously Yarick and Gaz. <laughs> Celestine and Greyfax, and Yarick and Gazgul. <laughs> These are the Why did you pick that image of Gilliman? <laughs> 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 Yarick and Gaz is the obvious choice. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? At least do the same thing to Celestine, like, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, so is it like you just sit in the cuck chair or like, uh, <laughs> like, do you actually get to be their friend? If that's your thing, man, if that's your thing. Uh, well, no, that's why I'm asking. Like, would you like be involved in their little whatever it is? Or? You would presumably be involved to a degree. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, see, this is where I have to bow out. I don't know. Well, I think the obvious answer is Yara can get oh. someone else. Too many good choices or too many bad choices? I, my own, I'm stupid and I, I don't know. I don't, I, it's very hard for me to picture any scenario being in a thruple, but that's just me. So it's like, I don't, uh, but I would also pick Gilliman in your brain just to talk to Gilliman and then your brain sits in the corner. I'm like, Gilliman, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> your, brain, your brain sits in the cuck chair. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's just me and Gilliman talking and I'm asking him questions about why he's so cool. <laughs> I'm fanboying over Gilliman while your brain sits in the cuck chair getting really pissed off. There are no bad choices here. All three of them are W's. I just, I'm just gonna say all three, Yerick and Gasgol. Just, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's just a, like, how does that go? <laughs> we have the bed, we have the wed, and then I have to watch them kill each other. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all three. There we go. <laughs> I want that in like a 48 hour period, and that's my choice. <laughs> <sighs> And then Yark and Gaskell both have those mega grippers. Whoa. <laughs> I think that was a joke. I'm going to try to be, I think I'm going to try to be the sane man here. I'm going to have to purge Yark and Gas because the grippers are too grippy. What? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong answer. Fear. Yeah, they both have robot hands. For my own, for the sake of my for the sake of my own survival. We could be power claw friends. Like they cut off my arm, I get a new power claw, a tripleting. Who do you think see, sorry, so here's the, here's my here's my conundrum, right? Between Evrain Ever, Gilman and Celestine Greyfax, right? Whichever one you pick to marry is going to be you're going to be the idiot of the group. Who do you think would be more condescending? Greyfax and Gilliman combined or Celestine? Sorry, Evrain and Gilman. And com combined, or Greyfax and Celestine and combined. Well, your brain's an elder, so she has that ingrained in her DNA to be condescending. But Greyfax is an inquisitor. I I feel like Gilliman and your brain wouldn't even be condescending to you with the. I, I feel like they would just treat you like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the family pet. Yeah, I feel like it's not even like in terms of like a difference in intellectualism. It's not even like coughing baby versus hydrogen bomb. It's like. <laughs> Yeah. Three sperm cells in a condom and a trash can versus the Sar Bomba. It's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would just be like that funny idiot they keep around. Yeah, they just like, I feel like they just treat you like a child. Like they just like, they wouldn't even be upset with you or think you're an idiot. They just. And that'd be fun. Uh, I would want to walk in between the two, like holding my hands up. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yes. Like a little child, you know? <laughs> Yeah, they take you to, like, their own custom-made daycare for you, and they just drop you off. It's just, like, cocaine and hookers everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. like... <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even, it's not even like, things that humans actually like. It's just what they think you would like. <laughs> 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 like, the thing is for me, right? So, the Grey Fox Celestine choice would be pretty great. However, Celestine, like, dies, like, every other, like, 25 minutes. Um, so you'd have to console Greyfax every two weeks. Like, no, she'll come back. And then she comes <laughs> back from the most horrifying experience you can imagine. So she's traumatized as hell for the next two years. And it happens again. So I'd rather just ha have uppies from, from Gilliman and uh, Irene, I guess. Uppies? <laughs> please. Please. Give me uppies, please. <laughs> So I'll, I'll bet Greyfax, Celestine, I'll wet Gilliman for the uppies, and I will... I, they're going to do it themselves anyway, just let Yarick and Gasco go at it. <laughs> well, Yarick's already dead, so you're halfway there. You're confirming his canon death. You could change that. <laughs> oh, true, you're right. Wait, mm -hmm. I, wait, yeah, if I don't... You could save Yarick right now. Oh, well, you would have to pick him then. <laughs> Plus, if you kill Celestine, she'll come back anyway, so who cares? Mm. <laughs> Just off the group comes back. <laughs> I spit at my Woody! <laughs> yeah. That's some tech right there. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think getting uppies from Gilliman in your brain is that's the that's the move. God damn it. That's the goals right there. 
Yeah. Every time I hear uppies, I just like imagine like the mental image that, okay, so like this is a very, okay, the, walk with me on this. Everybody hold my hand. This is going to be a very weird mental image, but I have to describe this to I'm, you. I'm there with you. I'm there with you. Hold Arthur and Gilliman's hand. <laughs> so I, I am a short feller. I am. Not that short, but I'm a short feller. I don't have a short feller's personality. Or maybe I do because I make up for it, but whatever. I and, and it's never bothered me because every single friend that I've had has been tall, even by other people's standards. Because, like, my best friend, he's, like, 6'2". Guy that I hang out with and go to the gym all the time, and I train him. He's 6'4". And, like, another friend of mine that I hang out a lot is, like, 6'8". And, like, we, I would do this thing. We do this thing as, like, a joke because we, like, we're weird. We're weird people. We make jokes in public that we really shouldn't. So whenever we say uppies to to poor, poor, I'm not going to say his name, but the six foot eight guy, we like reach our hands up like a baby trying to reach for something. And we open and close our hands like constantly like clasping them. <laughs> <laughs> and one day this man was so drunk. I'm not a light guy. I'm, I'm in, I'm in decent shape. Like I'm not thin. I'm, I'm, I go to gym. I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape. I'm like, I think at the time I was like 185 pounds and he just like was drunk enough that he reached under my shoulders. <laughs> Like I was a like a disobedient cat and then just picked me up like just didn't even arch his back or move his legs just like I was like a baby and he picked me up but didn't say anything he was blackout drunk and like my shoulders slumped up and my like <laughs> Oh, it was bad. I was looking. I was like, "Could you put me down?" And he's like, "Yeah, but you wanted up." So I was like, "I just wanted to give you what you wanted." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> So every time you say uppies, I get flashbacks to the time that I got picked up by my giant friend. <laughs> you know, I didn't realize that there was uh, that we were playing with platonic uppies. I thought that's what D Crack was talking about. <laughs> yeah, no. That's what it was always. I thought it was just fun, yeah. I want to be held by Gilliman, and I want him to do those circles with me like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I can hear that image, I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> to my head. It's in my head. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Oh, but the little screen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, Zarek, I think we, we purge the, 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 the orc and the guardsman. Unless you're unless unless you're Devin, who's keeping Gaz. Whoa, well, well, not me. And then I guess honestly, the other the other the other two sets, I'm happy either way. Honestly, I think I'm fine either either way. I don't mind. Oh, oh, fantastic. I just want to I just wanted to keep uh, Yarik alive. That's the only reason I have to kill these beautiful babes in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you holding the gun to Celestine, like uh, uh, Wesley Snipes in that one movie, with tears in your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it's for once. <laughs> it's for Yarick. <laughs> uh, you can save Yarick, but you must fuck Gaskill. <laughs> do you have the power to do it? <laughs> <laughs> and don't threaten me with a good time and a moral good. Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, I had a thought. I'm not going to say it out loud. All right, on to the next set. Um, That's for the best. Oh, yeah. I call this next set uh, Imperial Law Enforcement. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. So we have an Arbite, an Inquisitor, and a fucking Night Haunter. Uh, the, the Night Haunter? <laughs> it's just him. The Night Haunter. Will it be this specific Arbite? Because she's kind of a babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, before, she was a bad pick. She's a lesbian. Okay. Oh. Oh man, damn it. <laughs> Borderline canon. I have a question. Well, but we just talked about Greyfax and Celestia and all their beams are lesbian ones, so... Fair enough. Fair enough. But hypo a hypothetical Arbite, not her specifically. Okay. Oh. So you get any any Arbite other than her. Sorry, Devin. Yeah, basically. There's one that looks exactly like her, but is straight. Straight as an arrow. There, there you go. Sure. And in love with me. And in love with you, of course. <laughs> 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 So I have a question. What's your question? What era of Kurs are we talking? That's a good question. Uh, before the disassociation. Mm. So when he was a sperm cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't he start demented? Yeah, he was. Like, didn't he crawl out of the Earth's crust or whatever? <laughs> or not Earth, but He was like, always a little cooked. I'd say so I'm assuming... <laughs> between the Emperor finding him, 
and him losing his shit between in that period, the, the you know the honeymoon period where you want to be the honeymoon f- when he only flayed them alive. Okay, so I wait. Also, I have another follow up question regarding the beautiful babes. Wait, so it's an Arbites. What was that second one? Sorry, I was fo- I was fixating for a second there. It's an Inquisitor. An, an Inquisitor. Okay. Um... Can it be an Inquisitor like Amberly Lee Vale, who's like canonically hot? What order? What order? That's true. Um, for Ordo, um, not Malleus. Just not Malleus, okay. <laughs> just not Malleus. You don't have to deal with that baggage, because that's just unfair. Well, that doesn't rule out Ordo fuck you up the buttocks. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> for that, I'm changing my answer. Hold up. <laughs> I... <laughs> I want Ordo hot babyus. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, uh, there's always an ordo for something. We have an ordo to ter- determine what date it is, so... I'm just saying. Ordo but pluggiest? <laughs> Do they have inquisitors for the date ordo, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Like, they go to the uh, planet, they're like, your calendar is wrong. You better fix it, or we will take action. <laughs> okay, so I, I have a joke that I've been saving for a video, but I think I'll whip it out here. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to marry, like, I want to wed Kurz again, because I fear not danger. Pray not for easier lives, men. <laughs> Pray to be stronger men. I I do that because if I had a nickel for every time a Night Lord's figure in a position of leadership in a book had a weird slave master pet play subplot... <laughs> I would have two nickels now, which is not a lot, <laughs> but it's weird that that happened twice. <laughs> hmm. Where are you going with this, Arthur? <laughs> I think you anti-sold it to me. I'm going to pick the other ones. <laughs> so I was just wedding curves. I, hey, I, I'm not finishing that thought. It's up to you guys to find out what my meaning there is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that it's canon that for some reason it happens more than once to Night Lords. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna b- wed. They have fifty shades of gray genetically coded inside of them. Yeah, we're gonna wed curs. We're gonna bed the arbides because they're allowed to mingle with the populace. They just are told not to to keep uh, whatever. And then you're always gonna be safe because like, isn't it like canon lore that like they are literally the last line of defense after the PDF fails? Like the the planetary defense forces. Like once they're gone, even the arbides are still fighting. Yeah. So if you bed them and you just have like a great one night stand and maintain an okay relationship with them, they might, you you don't know, it could come back, you know, shit pays dividends later down the line. (laughs) The Inquisitor has that, but like tenfold. Yeah. Like their power is unlimited. I I don't want to bring up the the, the police domestic violence rate right now, but uh, keep that in mind. Well, I mean, is it? Well, but he just talked about how he he wanted the uh, slave master relationship, so... Maybe the maybe the hitting would be a a plus for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are not. <laughs> hey I, hey, you guys are inferring something. You are inferring something that I did not imply. <laughs> maybe I did actually. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but is this the is this image the pose we're going to be uh, betting them with, <laughs> with the gun in your face and baton ready? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it'll give her a head start. What do I fucking yeah? Um, <laughs> but or him a head start. I don't you know. Um, but yeah. So I feel like their BDs would be the safest option because like I feel like there is genuinely a relatively high statistic of inquisitors that like once you just like get in and get out. You just you get black bagged later and turned into a servitor. Like I just feel like there's a statistic that is not one percent. So <laughs> uh, I feel like yeah, purge the Inquisitor because that one just that ain't that ain't worth it. That just ain't worth it. But yeah, that's my list. I'm sticking to it. I'm sorry. That's impressive. Full send. Uh, I get the logic. I just I'm gonna do the opposite. I feel like wedding a n- night lord would be not worth it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know, but at least it'll be fun up to the end, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how many... Uh, think about the smell of the skinned the skinned beings in your household, your lovely honeymoon household. Yeah. Though, He's already sh- decorating with his skin suits. <laughs> though, shout out, uh, Kurz, canonically, 
It's like Ace, which is weird because it's only in like a few passages in one book. But yeah, it kind of is. It's kind of interesting. Wouldn't all aren't all the Marines technically? Lore. Yeah, I'm just going for. I am betting the Inquisitor. Exterminatus is the safe word. <laughs> I am wedding the um, Arbites, and I'm shooting girls in the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that's about. It. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just a safe word. Exterminatus is good enough. You guys aren't thinking big enough. I would marry the Inquisitor, and I would be. Um, it would be an Amberly Veil, Kyphus Kane. I would be her silly little clown, and she would be really hot. And I remark about how hot she oh. is, and she would be like, ha ha ha. Yes, <laughs> and, and uh, I w- and she would give me some of her unlimited power from time to time. I'd say, "Can you do me a favor, honey?" And she would be like, uh, "I guess." And then she would send an army to do it for me, and that'd be really cool. Devin, you do not need an army to do grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about whether you need one, Alex. <laughs> but she would do it, and that's the point. That's the that's like the power play the Inquisition would do. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I'd be like, can you buy me a McDonald's cheeseburger? And she'd send her inquisitorial retinue of, like, inquisitorial stormtroopers and stuff for a spec op mission. <laughs> yeah, but you could also have your RBT's wife with you, and she, she you know, they, they carry armor that's like 40 kilograms. She can carry, like, 10 bags. Easy. But my, my inquisitor, my inquisitor wife would have her own retinue of RBT's under her control, presumably. And so my, my RBT's beautiful ex would also be part of that. <laughs> I I just don't want to wake up one day with a demon host stuck to the ceiling saying hi. That's just my biggest worry. I thought it, I thought it was in Malleus. I thought this is Ordo Xenos we're talking about. Well, uh, well, you know, maybe the Inquisitor becomes a little radical, you know? <laughs> Eisenhorn was not Malleus. Keep in mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no, he was Xenos, right? He was yeah. Yeah. I would rate her in, though. I would say, honey, I, I think that's a bad idea, babe. And she would be like, are you sure? I'm like, <laughs> I think you should not use Demon House. <laughs> yes. And she would say, you know what? I, I respect your opinions because you're my beautiful husband. And I'd say, thanks, wifey. And then we would kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'd lean into the kiss and then put a cloth over your mouth that suspiciously smelled like off. <laughs> 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 and then you go to the far reaches and then you wake up and congrats you're on the surgery table you've seen too much yeah it's like a <laughs> when people complain oh my husband bought a truck when i wasn't home damn it my inquisitor wife got a demon host when i wasn't home <laughs> <laughs> i think for me i'm just gonna i'm just gonna be totally honest i'm gonna have to marry the Ar- the arbites i know it's gonna get violent that's terribly unfortunate but <laughs> The other two are a bit, uh, what's the word, mortally questionable. I think I'm just going to have to kill Kurz. <laughs> I just have to kill Kurz. I can't risk that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't. That's just not good. I mean, the very picture you've got of him. You disappoint me with your frailty. <laughs> has someone ha- hanging below, cut in half, literally below him. Yeah, that's Arthur. <laughs> yeah. That, he's 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 wearing skin. That's you after one argument. It's like one marital dispute, and you're you're done. <laughs> this isn't the one for me. I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm gonna have to skip on Kurz. I'll 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 roll the dice for one night with the Inquisitor, but nah, I ain't I ain't touching Kurz with the barge pole. That guy's gonna die. He'll. It's probably in his best interest. To be fair, coward. To be honest, <laughs> cowardly actions. <laughs> Coward. I'm not as brave as you are. I, I'm not gonna pretend. That's fuck that. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're confusing bravery with eagerness to engage in violence. Your sickening curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's that shit. Grim resolve, if you will. That makes me sick. <laughs> the grim resolve. Grim no. Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's time for me to do what must be done. Here, sweetie. Here's your stew for the day made with meat. With meat. And then Curse is like, thank you. And I'm like, ah, yeah. Joke's on him. I snuck Haldol in. <laughs> it's an antipsychotic. Oh, fuck. So wait. Uh, yeah, I know. So what? You're just drugging each other? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying. I'm, uh, bro has schizophrenia and won't take his meds. Of course, I'm going to be a, the best partner he's ever had. I'm going to give him the big pill. Of, of the big pill. <laughs> I don't know. I, Dude, just wrap it in cheese. <laughs> yeah, wrap it in cheese. Just the whole. Hey, watch it. Watch as I wrap this entire kilo of Haldol in cheese. 
a few SSRIs and also, like, here's some weed. Just, <laughs> just calm the fuck down. <laughs> If you, okay, wait. Follow up question though: If you married the Arbides, would uh, would she have this funny hat, and would she let me wear it? That might be a that might be a change. <laughs> that might change. <laughs> if you married her, yes, you'd be with her long enough to get to that rank. To wear the hat, just like, <laughs> can you wear the hat in bed? <laughs> yeah, the hat stays on. <laughs> the stupid eagle helmet. <laughs> <laughs> God, man. I think I'm still going to have to go with Inquisitor, though, even if I don't ever get to wear this stupid eagle helmet. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would very much like to move to the next one. That's fair. All right. Uh, Are we ready for the next one? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Fair, fair. So uh, this section is heralds. We have here a herald of corn. Oh, no. A herald of Nurgle. Oh, kill the Nurgle one. That would be horrible. And a herald of Zinch. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. This will be terrible. Oh, no. Pick your poison. No, that's actually pretty straightforward, actually. Why do they... The, the images you've picked, they're all fucking... Sh- they're all fucking shredded. <laughs> yeah, wait, where... Are these by the same guy, or...? They are. Th- even the even even the Nurgle guy looks like his chest is made of rocks. They just are. What, are we afraid of someone who's toned and took advantage of the time they have to improve their physical physique? I see that as a positive trait, thank you. <laughs> So when I look at my phone with righteous indignation, like I was about to see a notification, no one fucking calls me. Seeing a ripped <laughs> plague bearer is kind of wild. Uh, this is easy. Easy as fuck. Um, I would kill the plague bearer. Yeah, easy. That's that's obvious. Because, like, yeah. if you marry the plague bearer, impossible disease. If you bed the plague bearer... Every single STD. Times four. Yeah, some you didn't even know were real. You, you, I don't know. How, how'd you get malaria? I, I don't... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Super malaria. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wed the bloodthirster because corn <laughs> believes in honor, rules, and structure. And also, yeah, I think could get it. I'm just saying. Like, I'm... We all know I'm not the straightest arrow in the quiver, but, like, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I've... Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to bed the, the Herald of Zinch. Uh, this is going to be another I do it out of hate thing because I don't like Zinch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but also, like, you can't wed Zinch because God of Trickery, Betrayal, and whatever. That's not going to be a relationship that lasts. Bad foundations. That's true. And also, yep. yeah, and also pink's my favorite color, so it's nice to look at. And it's like, oh, they're pretty. They're cool. Again, toned as fuck. They got them nice obliques, just saying. And d- whatever those pink hair tentacles are, that's pretty pretty cool too probably not that great to kiss because they get a beak but like fucking <laughs> yeah i'm just speaking logically here so we're gonna wed the 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 blood the blood guy we're gonna i swear i can form coherent sentences most times <laughs> um we're gonna bed the uh we're gonna bed the zinch guy and then we're going to absolutely nuke from orbit the planet that uh the the plague bear came from <laughs> Now, because we're in a rough patch right now, I'm going to bring this back. This is the mechanic we had in the first episode, uh, that we have the savior. Uh, Once per game, uh, if you guys are all chill with it, you can substitute one of the subjects for uh, an unknown savior. Um... Well, I feel like we should save that for that one you mentioned earlier, the really horrible one. (laughs) Oh, wait, was that off camera? (laughs) Yeah, off camera, I mentioned that there's one here, there's a set here that is genuine... That was was off camera, no, but I I mentioned... It's all all uh, merging to me. Yeah, but uh, one of these is genuinely unfuckable, and I don't mean in a gross way, it's just actually... We'll get there when we get there. We'll get get there. We'll get there when we get there, but I I want you guys to know... Well, if if that's the case, then I I will save the use of the thing until we get there. Fuck that. Yeah, because I think Ar- Arthur's logic tracks pretty well. Like, yeah, yeah, it's the most reasonable solution. You wouldn't want to <laughs> marry a zinch. Me being reasonable is actually surprising for once. <sighs> I know it's crazy. Well, I think it takes it takes an illogical man to make logic out of an illogical situation. Thank you. Wise words. The question mark at the end of that. <laughs> Humongous. <laughs> uh, thank you was indeed appropriate. <laughs> yes. So are we all in agreement on this? Like, I, th- I think so. I think we have to. I don't think there's any other way to go about it. Yeah. As God intended. I say so. Yeah. yeah. Unanimous. 
Brilliant. I think that's the only unanimous one we've done. Well, let's on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one, guys, I don't know what the fuck I was cooking with this. Um, I looked in my big book of horrors <laughs> and I picked these guys out. What the fuck? What, what <laughs> three the random fucking shapes have you picked out for this? So. <laughs> One's a towel auxiliary, I know that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know they look like... <laughs> <laughs> they look like a fucking uh, Rorschach test, but I have little lore snippets for each so that you can all get acquainted with what these things are because you've probably never seen oh them before. Oh my god, this is like... I think the Galg are like canonically super chill. Like some sort of blind date. What is this? A literal blind date. Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah. So the Galg are really chill. They spent most of their history... Yeah. In idyllic pleasure, just on their home planet, just chilling. And then chilling. the Tau came and said, your life sucks. <laughs> Um, and then they were invited into the Tau Empire. Yeah. Now, now some of them fight in the, in the wars for the Tau. Um, the Oreti, the spider-looking guys, um, they were, for the most part, pacifists. Like, one of the few species in 40k that were actually truly pacifistic. Uh, unfortunately, most of them have been uh, a white out. Serves them right. Uh, and those that remain have probably become a bit killy. Uh, but... What they love to do in their spare time is to weave beautiful things of art with their Crochet. Wang. Yeah. And the la- <laughs> they, they, they've got hobbies. And the last one here is uh, the Barasona Lash. <laughs> uh, this is a very potent, yeah, very potent psychic creature. Uh, it's existed since before the war in heaven. Absolutely ancient. I mean, I can only go with my gut, and that last guy looks like Captain Hugs to me, so I'm going to marry that last guy. <laughs> a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> I, li- I like that last guy. Yeah, he could, he could double hug you. He has uh, two sets of huggers. Yeah, you can t- get two hugs at once. I gotta oh. go with that last guy. That last guy looks like... Look at the lips on him as well. Don't, don't, don't hug me with your big hands. Hug me with your little hands. So is the category of this one just like horrific looking things that are actually pretty chill on the inside? And that's a life lesson for everybody. Yeah, they're all really chill, actually. Don't judge a book by its cover. For me, I'll kill the book... Th- I'll mm-hmm. kill the bug thing, I'll fuck the wiggly thing, and I'll I'll marry the army thing. <laughs> yeah. The hug thing. I mean, um, uh, I don't know about the wiggly thing. Yeah, I think I would have to kill the bug thing, even if it's a nice thing. I just couldn't, like, stand to look at that. I think I would just, like, get sick. <laughs> um, well, I think I, I, I feel the same, but then I'm looking at the wiggly thing, and I feel even more terrible about that. Look at the bottom, look at the underside of the wiggly thing's tentacles. But look at how many eyes it has, and look at this <laughs> disgusting little... But the, the, the like spider thing has tentacles too. It's just in its face and it's like... Uh. It's okay, you can close your eyes. You, you can close... So I, I have a note for the Galg. When the Galg, Galg speaks... Sorry, which one's the Galg again? It sounds like a harmonics, like one of those... Um, That's the tentacly one, yeah. The first one. So th- th- this speaks by producing a sound that sounds like running... Uh, you know those uh, exhibition things they have where they got a big pot or bowl filled with water, and when you run your hand around the inside, it hums oh, like yeah, a whale, yeah. kind of. That's what they sound like. Huh. <laughs> I'm still killing it. Kind of. It yeah. looks like it looks like a mutated. I the Galg lore is so funny because it's like <laughs> literally a species just living its best life, and the Tau says, "Your life sucks. You should join our empire." <laughs> and they're like, "Um." <laughs> it looks like a mutated nutsack. I can't. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see Yeah, I'm it. killing that thing. I'll I'll marry I'll marry Sergeant Major Hugs, and I'll close my eyes and bet the fucking four legged fucking crab thing. <laughs> oh God! I, is this where I'm at? Is this where the line is? Is this where I'm like, of all things? This is your um, Kratos jumping off a cliff moment. I'm afraid. I <laughs> literally I <laughs> okay. So I'm actually like. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to just disappoint every single monster fucker who, like, follows me. Uh, what's my savior? You know what? Fuck it. I'm locking on the savior. Doesn't matter who it is. Yeah, I'll, th- I'll th- demand a savior, Zark. If there is one. Or do I have... <laughs> he demands it. Do, do you guys, guys want to... Uh, like, actually, I'll, I'll give you each a savior. Um, I'll have to pull up more images. But, uh, yeah, I'll give you each a savior. Um, I swear to God. If it's... If you... That makes sense. No, no. You should just make it worse. That'd be funny. So your so your so your savior is Oh that's easy. Oh damn. The Sanguinor. I was I just realized this like while you were saying that that's that, really like, good. 
there was a chance. There was like a grain of sand that was going to fall from the hourglass. And in some alternate timeline, you just posted a picture of Magnus the Red. <laughs> <laughs> And I would have broken the fucking sound barrier. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the Sanguinor. Yeah, Sanguinor seems pretty good. Wait, is it Primaris or not? That's a good answer, yeah. Does that does it matter? It, yes, it does matter. Holy shit. Wait, what? Yes. Well, the, the, all the Marines around him are Primaris, so I guess so. Yeah. Zarek? Sorry, I, I completely struck out there while he's... You're asking for uh, question, Primaris. is this Primera Sanguinor or Original Sanguinor? I think it, Original, because I don't think the person has changed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with this. I will lock in this decision. Sanguinor, all three, and then we go on a nice little honeymoon when he comes sure. back. Sure. Yeah, because the Primaris one doesn't have nipples, so it's like, what's the point? I don't even know if that's fair for me to do. Yeah. But I'm done. Yeah. That was a bloody good set. I'll, I'll... Everyone was really mad about the blood angel nipples. <laughs> that was a really cool time. Are all our saviors going to be so good and generous? Or <laughs> um, I'm, I'm I'm actually hoping to find others now because I was going to plan to do it differently, but this is fine. But you'll each get a savior. Unfortunate. I will randomly determine one of yours to be horrible. Uh, rip. Oh. Arthur's, Arthur's pulled the long straw. But I... <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah. The ne next time one of you uses a savior, I'm going to roll to see if you get the horror. The horror. <laughs> oh, God, I'm God roll what's for that, it. like, shadow entity that exists? The Tenebrae, I think they're called, where it's literally just a ball. Just a, just a beholder. Just Is that ball. the one in uh, Gladius? <laughs> no, no, it's just a sphere. It's like a pearl, like a pearl the size of a baseball, and inside there's, like, goo. And apparently it's, like, allegedly an evolved Catan, or maybe it just came from the warp and we don't know what it is. But it turn shadows into living it we're not doing the lore drop now continue <laughs> <laughs> yeah what what's our, what's our next lineup sir <laughs> right sorry i was gathering new ones but uh our next lineup here oh um, no oh no is the chrono tyranid on the list you guys knew this had to happen there had to be a tyranid round bad uh, <laughs> uh. I, 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 I've taken the three the only three turns I think I could find that passed the Harkness test um so here we have a Lictor, no... a Broodlord, and a Norn Emissary. Damn. Um... How would you do with a Norn Emissary? It's like 100 feet tall. <sighs> Why are you like this? Uh, no Neuro Lictor? I'm sorry, that would be too easy. That would make it too, way too easy. With his cool trench coat. God damn it, am I going to have to do it again? Cause just I, I don't first. think I need to use... <laughs> <laughs> my um savior in this round. I don't think I need to. I think I know what I'm doing. I honestly think I think we marry the, the emissary 100%. That's just going to be Yeah, that would be cool. Kaiju wife. That, there's just so it's just it's huge as well. Absolutely massive, colossal fucking thing. Uh fucking thing. Um you could get like super upsies. It's just, bro wants to turn over in his bed and hear the, the, the boss music from Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. <laughs> I think I think you you spend the night <laughs> with Tentacle Mouth. I'm sure there's some benefit to that. I'm not sure what, but there's got to be something. Um, and you blow the brains out of uh, Sergeant Major Big Head, honestly. And you never look back. <laughs> Sergeant Major Big Head. I, th I think that's it. What if you're under the influence of the Gene Steelers gene thing and then, like, you think the Broodlord's just, like, super freaking hot, though? You can have the Broodlord then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I would marry that. the Emissary, though. That'd be cool to have a kaiju wife. Kaiju wife. <laughs> yeah. My kaiju wifey will, will stomp you if you don't stop being mean to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to introduce some new tech here to maybe... I think I have, I think I figured it out. So we're going to marry, we're going to wed the Broodlord because our children will be plentiful and strong. <laughs> and then they'll get eaten. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm glad no one saw the face I made when I did that. Um, but then we're going to bed the Lictor because in and out, they'll, uh, like, I'll just wake up and hear a shorping <laughs> sound and be like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, like, oh, as I start. <laughs> and then just like, I'll blink, gone. And I'm like, oh, nice. And that's it. That's that's the entire... To Go be ahead. fair. 
To be fair, I think the feeder tendrils might be able to take the memory away. Even better. <laughs> fucking... I, I, yeah, it could be invisible the entire time and be the most awkward experience of my life. <laughs> You're just looking for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, where's my dick at? <laughs> hey! <laughs> you see your cock going in and out. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> uh literally yeah and then we're gonna purge the Nord emissary because like the other two are not directly connected to the hive mind the same way that like the Nord emissary is because again it's just hive mind bullshit you don't want that shit gossiping <laughs> yeah <laughs> Nord emissary is a little too large for me the lector is gonna be a good to- like you know you don't want bil- like literal trillions of entities to know what your dick looks like or your ass. I don't like. I don't. Fu- I don't even like knowing what I look like. Like I guess one night stand. <laughs> um, and then the uh, brute lord Galel, they they can just lie to me. But then trillions of entities would know that I have a humongous, awesome penis. <laughs> Just show yourself as a beautiful woman. Just lie to me at that point, you know. I've already taken an L on this one, so just lie to me at that point. Uh, it's just like, oh man, I like, I, I could not like on either end of the wet or the bed with like the Norn emissary. I could not handle it being like, ah, yes, I am safe from the tyranids, and I'm just striding b- amidst. It does have multiple <laughs> sets of arms to hug you. <laughs> betwixt between whatever like uh, between like a bunch of gaunts and then one of them looks at me and just goes (laughs) 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 i i couldn't handle it i wouldn't be able to i wouldn't be able to unfortunately lie to me (laughs) (laughs) Mm, also the mm, brood lord could probably give good hugs like that last alien has four arms as well Mm. and like those unlike the other one usually they aren't like scything talons they're just like uh, the normal claw. Actually, wait, are scything talons or rending claws the claw looking ones? I don't care about gene stealers. Uh, scything talons are the ones that look like praying mantis arms. Rending claws are the ones that the gene stealers have. So, top set, they have the, the oh, yeah, ones. Because yeah, they all technically have four arms. They're like yeah. sword arms. Terrifying. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was scarring. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad, I'm glad to fit you all through something uh, horrible. I'll never forgive uh, you. Know why I keep on agreeing to be on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't get it. I, I'll be honest, guys. Uh, don't worry. I think I, I've actually run out of things that are bangable in 40k. That's... <laughs> After this episode, <laughs> I'll have no more. Yeah, I'd argue you ran out a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the, those are the standards. <laughs> <laughs> so this next one. Is uh th- this is a funny haha? This is a f- this is a real funny haha. Um, but I do need to give a uh a book spoilers disclaimer. Uh, if you've not read uh the Twice Dead King, I'm sorry, but uh you there are some minor spoilers ahead. Okay. Uh, if you care, you've probably already read it. So uh, I'm gonna pop these down. This is what I'm calling. Uh, oh no. Uh, Third Wheel Two Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> so our pairs here oh. are. Oberon and Zandrek, like, n- n- nuff said. Uh, then we have uh, Trazin and Orokan, nuff said. What is this picture? And, uh, oh, sh- no. A ship that I am so glad I actually found fan art for. <laughs> is, oh, uh, Yennick. I, I gotta say. Baltix and Yennick. I hate that picture. <laughs> yeah, Yennick. What the fuck? Who fucking signed off on this art? I don't know any Necron lore at all, almost. <laughs> So I don't even know. Isn't Yenik like an like kind of like an like a butler kind of old man figure a little bit? I just finished. So I've my knowledge on like Necron lore is becoming exponentially greater because I I finished like a couple weeks ago the Infinite and the Divine for the first time. No, no, he he's a he's a general. He's a shipmaster and a duelist. It's a freaking pose. Wait, are they both flayed ones then, or? That's just old man Yowie. That's that's just a thinly veiled old man Yowie book, and you cannot convince me of otherwise. It's just enemies to lovers trope out the ass. I don't give a shit what other people say. I'm gonna fucking... Uh, They are now, yes. That's why I'm putting up spoilers for the Twice Dead King. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. (laughs) I know nothing about the other two, unfortunately. And that's kind of where my knowledge ends. So I, I, I gotta pick. She. 
wed? I don't even know what the wed would imply here. I barely know any Necron lore, but I'll pick Trey's in for the memes. <laughs> then I can talk to Creed. He could be my friend. Yeah. I, I can give a breakdown for you if you guys want some little more explainers on this. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. Oberon and Sandrek are of, I believe it's the Sautek dynasty, uh, directly underneath Imbatek, the Stormlord. Um, Nemesaur Zandrek it has a sort of transient madness where he forgets that they're all uh, dead and is convinced that they're still living, breathing creatures. Uh, Oberon is his uh, ever-silent bodyguard. Uh, and there's a, there's a very sweet short story I'm, I'm aware of where basically uh, it's implied that there is a certain kind of love between them uh, whether that's romantic or just um, just a mutual respect, not clear. But uh, they're a, they're a very interesting power couple. They're the power couple of the Necrons. Um, with Trazin and, and Orican, that that is yeah, that's just a, a war that is also a marriage. Then the the divorce proceedings never quite ended, so they're still technically married. Uh, and with uh, Ultix and Yannick, uh, this is. Uh, I, I I'm sorry, it, they're flares. I don't know how. I don't know how to explain that. It's toxic as shit. I'm sure. Uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, That's the best I can explain you, it. You threw out the words that got my attention. So we're gonna we're gonna bed uh, uh, Ultix and the other one whose name I can't remember because do I even. You, you fill in the blanks. Uh, and then we're going to wed uh, Trazin and Oregon because I just want to see all their things. I just want to see stuff. I just feel like... I feel like being like the... I feel like being in a relationship with the two of them would be like the equivalent of your parents trying to calm you down after the divorce by saying, you're going to have two Christmases. It's like... It's like that, but every year it's just like, man, I'm so sad I don't get to see Orokin this year. And Chaz is like, <laughs> oh, you want to see your entire family lineage? I, I preserved them. And I'm like, oh, that actually be kind of cool. And then, and, then they, and then we do that. And it's just like, I, I go to Orokin. I'm just like, man, I wish I could see Chaz. And Chaz is just like, fucking here and then gives me some i don't know man I, but yeah i feel like it'd be interesting my train of thought kind of got derailed there i'm not gonna lie i heard a noise outside my door and got really distracted uh and for uh, Oberyn and, and, and such i don't know enough about them to care so purge i am almost tempted to go with my savior for this one uh, let, i think yeah, I think I'll have to because the, I'll tell you why. Because the problem is with um, Yannick and Co. That's just not. I'm sorry, no, no. But the thing is, we can talk about spending a night or spending eternity with um, Trazen and Oricon. But uh, I don't know if you guys have ever like been privy to a divorce. But an eternal divorce? That ain't the one. I'll take the savior. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just so you know, Tom, uh, because this the, we've come up, I've come up with this on the fucking fly. Uh, there is a one in three chance that you get something bad. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be what it'll be. All right, on a one or a oh, two. Right. Fuck. You're fine. You're fine. You live. Um, Let's determine uh, one of these saviors. Oh, easy money. You get. Oh, I'm marrying that guy. Holy shit. Lord Salarn Bacarius. 100%. Oh, lucky. Oh, oh happy days. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Bacarius. That's way better than these Necron things. What a treat. Look at, and that majestic picture. Look at that photo. What an absolute treat. I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm sorry to say, um, Alex, Devin, uh, you guys... Uh, it's going to get worse. <laughs> one of you two are going to get the yeah. foul. <laughs> yeah. For, for my choice, I am, I am having the, the, the hunky-boinky with uh, Orican and Strazin. I am marrying Zandrak because big cool bodyguard. Yeah. And the flayers can stay in yeah. the <laughs> dungeon, please. Stay over there, please. Far away. Funny, that's a good way to put <laughs> yeah, that. I think killing the flares is the only right answer. I don't know, I feel like marrying Trazid would be funny, because uh, his collection would be cool. <laughs> yeah, they can... Uh... <laughs> it would be funny, he's yeah. a silly little guy. <laughs> 
All right. Um, our, let's head on to the next one. Is this more or less? Un- okay, this is less unhinged. Wonderful. You say so, that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Genuinely, this is way less unhinged than like everything we've done today. This is a breather. Um, oh, yeah. Three space marine chapters. Oh, good. Iron Hands, Raven Guard, Black Templars. Oh. Discuss. Kill the oh, Iron no. Hand. Marry the Raven Guard because they're reasonable. They're the reasonable Marines. Uh, all right. So let me put it this way: the Black Templars. If you've uh, mm, stepped anywhere near Hell's Reach or any Black Templar novels, you know that Black Templars are actually really cool. They're so human. Even th- they're just a. Uh, they're so human. I I gotta marry a Black Templar. I'm not even thinking twice. Yeah, I'm gonna marry a Black Templar. Uh, slap down a Raven Guard and throw the Iron Hand in the bin. They are very cool. I like Grimaldus. Yeah. I'm trying That's to That's just think. more flavor. But what if you get an insane one? One of the crazy guys. <laughs> Plus, they have the, they have those essential candles on their backpacks, actually. That's kind of a <laughs> OP strat. <laughs> you know, weirdly enough, I feel like the Black Templars, out of all the space marines that are really recognizable, they probably canonically smell the best. <laughs> Not even capping. I just genuinely think they do because of like scented candles, holy oils, unguent sensors. It's just like they probably just smell like you walked into like a bed and like like a bath and body works. But like it's probably better than fucking the the shit blood and motor oil that the Iron Hands smell like. I, I honestly see where you're going. I think I fully agree. Well, I, I, I have a funny feeling that they probably smell like a new car. You know, the way new cars get all the funky oils and stuff on them. Yeah, but not, not in a bad way, but in a very sort of a, a very um, comfortable and masculine kind of way, you know. Interesting. Yes, um, indeed. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a controversial I'm gonna make a controversial statement, and I'm going to elaborate on my claim af- claim afterwards. So we're gonna marry the Black <laughs> Templar. So that's just a good time. That is just a good time. I, I, I just finished the new Morvan Vol book. There's a lot of Black Templars in that. They're really cool. And I thought they were, like, super interesting. And he's, like, the kind of guy that, like, he's going to introduce you to all your all of his friends. And all of his friends are going to be like, oh, man, you're with the that guy? That's awesome. Like, because they're all tight-knit and they're all about brotherhood and shit. I'm about all that. And then we're going to bed the Iron Hands. Now, I'm going to elaborate on that. So calm your fucking horses. <laughs> Um, uh-huh. so, <laughs> Flesh is weak, right? Sure. For the purpose of this conversation, let's say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the purpose of this conversation, the Flesh is weak. Gotcha. Okay, I'm glad we've got those based, whatever. So you're telling me there aren't attachments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, j- I'm just saying... I you see. might be onto something. Hold up. There's no way that we don't know that it's impossible for you to equip to, like, an Iron Hands a fucking throw it back in 8 or 5,000. Like, <laughs> there's there's a, there's a some tech here that we don't know. Like, the they could... Yeah, 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 Only yeah. Only pro is like, cooking. Hold up. <laughs> hmm. It's like they might get, like, the Luke Skywalker hand, like, the fucking that, but what if that shit has some tech that you've never seen before? Like, like an RPM and, like, the fucking thousands, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if this is a plus or a minus, but I know there are iron hands where their waist is literally a swivel joint and they can 360 spin around. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, you're taking me out. You're taking me out here. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be given critique while giving back shots. I feel like that'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to just like you know hear the clank of metal like I'm rubbing violently up against a, a fucking washing machine and then just hear like a e as he just like swivels around to look at me and then just be like, "Good job. You're actually that's that's genuinely impressive." Like, stop. This takes a lot of focus. Like. <laughs> I, I feel like I wouldn't like that, but <laughs> but you kind of see what I mean. There's some tech here, literally and figuratively, that we're not considering. That there are peripheries. In this context, the floppy disk drive has a different meaning. God, that was the worst joke I've ever fucking said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
uh, like, I know I mentioned in the last episode that, like, uh, fucking Fulgrim's asshole has the same speed and suction as a high-speed Hoover vacuum cleaner, but we could literally get that installed in this guy, so, like... (laughs) The possibilities are endless. So yes, we're betting the the Iron Hands. And I just find the Raven Guard kind of boring. So purge. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, is that Raven Guard? I thought it was Rap. I have been convinced. <laughs> no green. Oh wait. Oh, I'm silly. I thought that was a Raptor. <laughs> the lighting. The lighting threw me off. I think I'm blind. I, I know. I, I know. I'm, it shocks my. It shocks me how often I'm right. I, I have crazy. to agree with uh, Archer here. No, I'd still kill the Iron <laughs> Hand. I don't like Iron Hands. But <laughs> I think I will change my answer to marry the Templar. Tom, Tom got me. <laughs> Just out of spite, you kill him? This. It's the only way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. Iron hands are kind of mean. <laughs> they are. They are quite mean. The attachments, though. <laughs> the attachments, true. <laughs> you could have your goth emo, uh, goth emo hubby, uh, the Raven Guard. Surprised. Um... What if it's a raven guard with a guy? No, I'd lo- It's funny, I can I can almost hear the voice of Colin in my ear screaming about the opportunity to marry a son of Corvus. Oh my god. <laughs> the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful way to put it. Oh god, bro's gonna be so far in that ass <laughs> at the person that pulls him out. It's gonna be crowned the king of fucking England. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> To the bedrock shakes, to the continent cracks. Oh, no. Dear God. <laughs> oh, Christ. It's always with the Marines and Primarchs. You people get unhinged. It's always the Marines and Primarchs. <laughs> it's because we're very educated about the... I'm not even... <laughs> we're the Marines and Primarchs are cool. I look at, at large pictures of them every single day. Mm, I look at them in armor, out of armor. I've seen all poses. <laughs> I have been to reaction on CC. <laughs> yes. Okay. Are we are we good for the next set? Yes. All right. Uh, this one. Um, we're we're getting more buff men. Uh, mm. but in this particular instance, it's the Catan. Oh God. Mm. So you have the choice of the Deceiver, oh. the Nightbringer, and the Voice Dragon. I feel like this one's pretty self-explanatory. I don't want to marry like... someone named the Deceiver. <laughs> Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> and apparently being near the Nightbringer is like, yeah, you just hear the everywhere at the end of time by the caretaker just passively playing in the background because all life begins to slowly ebb and flow away because he's literally just <laughs> the physical embodiment of death. So getting even close to the Nightbringer is just a no-go. And the Void Dragon is True. just... The Nightbringer... Go ahead. Sorry, I was going to say, the Nightbringer is canonically... Our Grim Reaper. That is canonically who the Nightbringer is. Yeah. Yeah. The, the myth of the Reaper comes from the Nightbringer. Yeah. So we're going to wed the Void Dragon <laughs> because he will make me such nice things and also his Magic the Gathering card, which is I want. <laughs> Uh, and the Deceiver, we're gonna bed that, mainly just so I could, I, I could just play a little funny prank on just him. Just a little goof. Just <laughs> build up his hopes and dreams. Let him think that we're going to be together. I will take him out on a lovely date, dinner date to book at a Beppo. We're gonna have a great time. We'll go to the Pope room. We're gonna have the biggest, like, spaghetti and meatballs you could ever imagine. And then I'm gonna go take him to, like, a nice wine selection. We're gonna take him home. I'm gonna wine and die in that bitch and then we're gonna get to like my apartment there's gonna be candles and rose petals leading up to the room itself and then i'm gonna be like wait for me up there sweetie pie and then uh what the fuck would never mind <laughs> <laughs> wait is this one for the nightbringer <laughs> No, this is for the Deceiver, and then I'm going to let him get up there, and then I'm going to be like, I'll just go get ready. I have to go take my Cialis or some shit, and then I'll walk out of the room, and and then just leave. (laughs) You're going... Wait, are you going to deceive the Deceiver? (laughs) (sighs) That's literally the plan. Like, I'm just going to, I like, I will say that that is my new addition to the tech. I will say we will bed up until the actual bedding and then f- I'm out. Peace. I just want to piss him off. Yeah, I'm just going to piss him off. 
<laughs> He's just gonna make a break for it. I'll allow it. Just trying your chances on the run. <laughs> and then we purge the Nightbringer. Yeah. Base. Oh, he's gonna get me, but at least uh, I'll piss him off. Hopefully he doesn't bet you after he gets you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I, I think I have to I agree on that one. Like, the Nightbringer is kind of spooky. I'm alright. I'm not getting near that. Uh, the Deceiver, you know, kind of hot, but uh, uh, so I, I guess I'll just fuck that. And then the, the Void Dragon is really cool. Look at that thing. He can yeah. make you shit with, like, his thoughts. You need a new world? Made. You need a new ship? Made. <laughs> you, you need a body that doesn't look horrified? Made. Um, I, I genuinely don't think I have a good- I don't think there's any good answers Might here. Might even turn you into a Necron. I'm just gonna piggyback off what Alex said. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think me so too. I don't really know enough about the Catan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, are we all in agreement again? That's fair. Good wow. job, guys, we did it again. We got the second unanimous. Part of the ship, part of the crew, part of the ship, part of powerful. the crew. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> well, this next one, I think we're really going to have some divergence. If we don't, I'll personally be disappointed. So don't disappoint Let's me. Let's all just agree. <laughs> no! So this next one <gasps> are three Imperial oh. assassins. We have, uh, in order, the Aversor, oh. the Colexus, and the Vanus. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. On a scale of one to ten, how many sedatives is the Calexus going to be on if I'm in their presence? Wait. Uh, I think this applies for both the Calexus and the Aversor, but they'll be on a lot. Okay, the answer changes if the Aversor's on sedatives, because I don't want them to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can disengage them, I guess. You can, t you can turn off the, the inhibitors. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, like, literally, like, I, I want, like, the moment with Raiden in, like, Metal Gear Rising. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitor. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> uh, no, I call I, that a fucking sword fight. It, for the, for the Kalexis I'm talking, because it really, really sucks to be standing right next to them unless they have those special sedatives to reduce the pariah gene yeah, effects. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, they can have a limiter. They can have a limiter. I kind of, okay, yeah. so this one's kind of, so we're going to have to bed the Eversor because even I'm not that crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like that sentence would make more sense if what I said wasn't actually deranged, but but regardless, we're going to have to uh, wed the Kalexis because they're, they're probably lonely. They probably don't have a lot of friends because they got the pariah gene since they were a young age and that automatically means that people were distrusting of them. I want to know their story. I want to know about them. I want to see what they have to say about their life. Then I just want to see them blow some fucker up with mind bullets. Like, I feel like that'd be cool. And I feel like we could go on an adventure. I ain't fucking with a Vanus assassin. If I, like, if I fuck with them once, like, if I show up to a date late, they're gonna send me the IP addresses of every single fucking person that I've ever met in my life. Like, uh, Vanus assassin, that's the, that's the data broker one. That's the hacker one, right? Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm not. That's that's a data breach waiting to happen. Like, I'm not taking that one. That's <laughs> the most sweaty nerd of all the options we've had this entire time. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't trust a fucker with programming socks. Like, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> with programming socks under their body glove. They have programming socks. <laughs> uh, hold up. Wait. Wait, you just made it a better deal for me. Hold up. <laughs> uh, see, that's a see, that's a deep cut deal. Like if you know, if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna just say it's just like I'm sorry. Like I don't want to fuck with someone that like if I like the worst that an eversor could do to me is kill me in as quick a way as humanly possible because that's what they do. They don't like torturing people. They just murder you and then play with the bits afterward. Like Vanus assassins. Like I'll just go out and like I'll I'll just go to my bike. Like I have a bicycle to get around and shit. And I'll be like hell yeah, this is my bike. And then I'll stick the key in the lock for like my little bike lock. And then for some reason I'll hear a beeping coming from inside my bike. And I'm like, how the fuck did you even hack this? And then it explodes. <laughs> how like, did you hack a bike? <laughs> 
Like that's the kind of level. That's the level of shit that they're on. They'll just do that, <laughs> just just to mess with you. And I hate that. Like I'll just come home and I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go make myself a protein shake, and then I'll like go to like get a bottle of water from the fridge because my my tap water's too chlorine. And then I'll, like, I'll go over to my to like my blender, and then I'll turn the little cup upside down. And I'll start pouring in water, and the water doesn't pour out. And I'm like, how'd you even do that? That's not even possible. <laughs> That's that's what it's like, and that's why I'm kind of yeah. I'm, I'm locking that in. We're gonna wed the Calexis, we're gonna bed the Eversor, and then we're gonna just murder the Vanus because I guarantee you they're vengeful. <laughs> why do we always assume that our one night stands want to kill us? Though maybe we're yeah. I feel not giving ourselves enough credit. Maybe maybe just maybe maybe just maybe <laughs> they really like that one night stand. Good point. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest. I see where you're going with with all that, but I. I don't know. I don't think I'd have any problem with the Infosite assassin, to be honest. That's just, that's basically just a really, really buff person who's not an idiot. I think as far as the, the Infosite assassin, the one that's not- Wait, which one are you talking about? The one that's not crippling to be around in two very different ways. Oh, okay. You know, honestly, I feel like it's the- I know, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. But I feel like it's the safest option. So I'm going to marry the Infosite. <laughs> yeah. Truthfully, the other two are suboptimal, but one of them is it's the difference between a migraine and death. So I'll take the migraine <laughs> as my uh, as my number two. I think. <laughs> but it would be like yep. a deadly, painful migraine that would like kill you. <laughs> yeah, somehow I feel more inclined to have that than to. I mean, I've, I'm looking at this picture of the bloody ever saw. There's some stuff on the ground. I don't want to be like that. I'll take the headache. Nah. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? I'm gonna play it huh? risky. I'll take the savior. Whoa, whoa. Uh, of all things. Oh, you wanna take the savior? Okay. Oh. Dude, dude, I'm telling you. But the these are all humans in hot body suits. I'll take the 50 I'll take the 50-50 chance of the savior. Alright, this is a 50-50 chance. You get a horror. Let's see, on a one to three, you get a horror. You don't get the horror! Oh well now I can't use my savior. Okay. <laughs> You get. Let's go! It was worth it. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta give, um, we gotta give Devin a backup savior, so he's he's not guaranteed fucked. Okay. Y yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll make it. I'll make it a fifty-fifty <laughs> as well. <laughs> you get the emperor. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I made a face when you posted that. I was like, oh, okay. So you get to choose between uh, uh, the ghost face guy from Scream. You get to choose uh, a psychic guy who's going to like make your head explode if you're nearby. Some ancient weird Romanian hacker who's going to steal all your money. And God. <laughs> And literal God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And God as well. <laughs> yeah, so I, I of course, am marrying God. I am uh, having the intercourse with the uh, information broker. And I um, am, well, shooting both the other ones because they are horrifying and I'd rather not be close to them. Good, good choice. Yeah, I think I would have to marry the information broker and then... Yeah. Uh, no. I think I would have to kill the Priya one, the Colexus. Nah. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather get my okay. head chopped off than have a <laughs> dead death migraine. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd rather regret the things I <laughs> hemorrhage. did than regret the things I didn't when I get older. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm very pleased. We had uh, all all different answers. That's perfect. So, uh, our our next set, uh, we're returning to Necromunda. Oh God, oh, sweet it's Jesus! It's fine. I'll give you I'll give you a rundown of uh, who these people are. Uh, and here is our set. So we have Delac, uh, <laughs> again, oh. creepy cyberpunk uh, information brokers <laughs> running theme here again. <laughs> brokers. We have the Orlock, who who are basically a bunch of bikers that work in construction. <laughs> And then Escher, who are a bunch of misandrists. Well, I know which one Arthur's choosing. I hate you! And also I hate you so dealers. much! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, God, oh, fucking, uh, hate a guy for having preferences, okay. You know what, just for the aesthetic and the potential violence, I'm gonna go with the same one. Same one as you. There's no, there's no way you're not marrying Escher. What, 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 you don't know what I'm choosing. 
Oh, really? Oh, oh no, I'm marrying Orlock because I actually really like Orlock. I'm betting, yeah, I'm betting the Escher because that's going to be the greatest coke field drug binged, like, fuck You're going to wake up with so many bruises, bro. You're going to wake up with bruises you didn't, in places you didn't know could physically get bruised. <laughs> Does anybody else want to finish the thought that I was obviously going to say anyway? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, regardless, bruises in weird places on both parties is kind of going to be the, the standard for most of these interactions, I'm just saying. But, yeah, no, Orlock, I actually just love them because they're just like a bunch of disgruntled factory workers. They work the steelworks and then they just kind of got left to rot, form their own gang, and now they're just kind of like the most workhorse manufacturer guys in all of Necromunda. Which is dope! Like, they'll, they're will they the kind of guy that'll hand you something that's just like, hey, I made this, and it will never break. They It will never stop working. And I'm like, those are the kind of things that I like. Escher, yeah, they're misandrists. I, I don't want to be hated in that way. I want to have, like, just a good time. And you know what? They're all about the good times. They make all of the drugs. All of them without exception. They make all of them. So I could be like, hey, yo, do you got some, like, <laughs> yo, trend balone acetate? And they're like, yeah, one sec. And then, and then I'll just, they'll just be like, here you go. And like, oh, how much? Like, nothing. I'm like, <laughs> well, thanks. Cool. And then that's it. It's it. sweet. <laughs> You're calling up your ex for drug deals. Yeah, no, for real. Like, like that's the plan. And Delik, Delac. Fuck him. Kill him. D- but I, I don't. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, I, Lucy? I don't. He looks like. A, yeah, he looks like a nerd. He, no, he looks like a golf ball in a <laughs> trench coat. <laughs> it's like he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Yeah, he does actually. That's wild. <laughs> he looks like a. S- to be fair, with Delac, you'll rarely be in danger because they will know it's coming. It goes back to the hive mind thing. I don't want people to know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Their network of spies. It's gross. Yeah. Oh my God. Yep, same. Uh, I am marrying the Asher, uh, having the, the Boinga Boinga with the Orlok, and the Delac can stay there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that one. Because the Escher is a beautiful babe, and that's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> So-called free thinkers. Just absolutely. Even though she hates you, you're going to be too stoned to tell. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to get some crazy drugs, so it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's <Fucking>. okay. <laughs> dude, dude, you will be on ether 24-7. <laughs> Don't even worry. Like, you just walk in, they're just like, okay, what do you want? I'm like, what do you have? And they're just like, Methamphetamine, cocaine, crack rocks, ether, shit from the 80s. Just like five different, yeah, and it's just like an entire... They're 40,000 year old drug. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like a bottle of pills. None of them are the same, and it just says shit from the 80s. It's just like a bunch of different quaaludes. Like... <laughs> I was about to say, it's just a bunch of quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like shit to make your dick hard, shit to make your dick soft. I got aspirin, Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> Do they have the Wario gummies? Yeah, they have everything. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and if they don't, they'll get it or make it. It's crazy. <laughs> and they'll make it better, too. It's, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And then I get to meet that one guy who's the like the one not like non-standard Escher who's just a guy and he's just there. He looks like a dried up husk, but he's there. And I'll walk out and be like, "Hi," and he'll be like, "Hi," and I'm like, "Ah, oh, you're 20." <laughs> 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 the wisp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who- <sighs> yeah. Oh my god! All right, that's wonderful. Yeah. All right. I actually have a name for the next round, a proper name. Uh, these are the short stacks. Uh, I will not elaborate. That's a fun. Uh, we've we've got. Well, I know what Arthur's picking. <laughs> Ratlings. Uh, the 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 vo- uh, the kin because they're not vote they're, they're the kin, and we've got grots. Would it be the red gobble or just a normal grot? Uh, you know, what, for the for the sheer fact that no one will pick otherwise, yeah, sure, it's the red gobbo. Hey, what if I like Makari? Makari is pretty cool. <laughs> it's the red gobbo. There he is. <laughs> yeah. If you want to date Makari, that's fine by me. S- substitute in your favorite grot. Oh, I like Makari too. He's funny. Substitute in your favorite grot. He's like Orc Jesus almost. <laughs> <laughs> he, him and Gash share joint Orc Jesus roles. I'm not going first. I know what I, you guys are expecting shit. I feel like I'm being... I, I would kill the <laughs> Votan just to make Arthur mad. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I'm having a. I guess I'm having you a, and what army? Your votes hands. I'm exact, honestly. I'm having a one night stand with the rattling. I am killing the gobo and I'm marrying the very short, very wide oh, man. Oh, that's a good shout. Well, rattlings are like canonically really great chefs, which would be a really nice thing to have in a wife. Mm. My rattling wife, who makes me the most delicious food every single year or every single day. That's actually a good tack. That's actually the really good. The makes a point. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to marry the rattling. Marry the mm. rattling. It's like his, it was hers anyway, so it's like who cares? <laughs> Like he, like your your rattling wife would steal all of your stuff, but it's okay because you guys are married, so I'll end up in your possession eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we share this. It's not stealing. <laughs> They're like, oh man, but they'll steal trinkets from like your friends, and that might be cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put down the uh, the grotlo. Can't do it. Can't make it happen. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not strong enough. I feel like it'd be like I don't know, like it would make noises when it's like saw you for either the wet or the bed that'd be akin to like the hunter off of like Left for Dead, just the screaming, gurgling, fucking ah, 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 like every time it sees you, and that's its ha- <laughs> <laughs> that's its happy noises. That's the noise it makes because it's excited to see you, but you're like ah oh, fuck, I, that's a little too much. Like that's too much happy. Like to, you're at like a nine. We want a four. <laughs> <laughs> little green freak on you <laughs> yeah right like because <laughs> all goblins look the same like in the in the setting they just all whoa yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> the red goblin would like to have a word <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i had to say it but fucking uh, yeah it's the, the so i'm gonna have to kind of agree with the masses here but like it's also my opinion does shift because, like, the only arts and models we've had of ratlings up until this point are old GW trying to represent halflings, which I don't know if any of you have seen. Uh, every single piece of halfling art, halfling models, or halfling anything that GW has made up until the newest ratling models that were just announced, like, so-and-so, like, a month or so ago, like... Not even that. Not yeah. even that. At time of recording, like, a week ago... <laughs> No, it was like a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah, like, I want you guys to acknowledge that they all look like they were drawn by someone who's racist towards halflings. Like, they all look like racial yeah. caricatures <laughs> to make them look as bad as possible, but the new models for the Rattlings actually look good, and the new art that we're seeing looks pretty good. So, <laughs> like, they look like they enjoy a good coffee and, like, a good like a good drink and shit. I, I'll be sold. I'm going to wed the Rattlings specifically because of that one Rattling sniper that's, like, in the kill team that's coming up. That he's heating up his coffee and also cooking a grilled cheese on his little, on his like long las like ammunition pack. And I'm like, that's based as fuck. That's what I would do. Uh, and then we're sandwich. Gonna- <laughs> <laughs> <They> talk. Yes. <laughs> We're going to bed the Leagues of Votan because, again, it's hive mind shit. They're not actually a hive mind, but like they talk. They're in cramped space. It's. Well, I mean, like, you're basically going to a place with, like, the same, like, person density as, like, <laughs> Kowloon, like, the, the layered city, where it's, like, every single place is like that, but even worse, because, again, kin are, like, four feet tall, so they can stack, like, a bunch of bunks on top of each other, because that's how, like, all the holes are described, so it's, like, you're not going to get privacy, and everybody's going to know, because, oh, man, look how, who, Bogrot Roundgut brought in. I don't know why, that's the name. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just like, oh, look, sh- she brought in fucking tall feller. That's pretty crazy. And she's just like, ch- she's like super chuffed. And I'm just there like, I'm f- afraid for my life. <laughs> but, like, it's archaic and apocalyptic. And there's so many sounds. And they're all super used to it. And they're all, like, half made of stone most of the time for some reason but oh my god if you meet if you meet the in-laws you have to meet like a thousand people yeah no i have to meet a giant computer (laughs) (laughs) i want you to introduce you to my dad and it's just like i hear like the war horn of like a warlord titan as like the gaze of a thing the size of a skyscraper that's just a giant head is staring directly at me and i'm like uh fucking hi uh arthur uh, uh hello <laughs> and they're and then it's just like 
December 14th, 2060. And I'm like, what's that? And then my like lover would be like, oh, that's the date you're going to die. And I'm like, what? <laughs> How does it? <laughs> It just. Why it would just, you tell me this? Why would you tell me? <laughs> it it just knows that. I don't know. Sometimes it'll just do that, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, watch this. And one of the, like the little little dwarf lady will walk up and be like, "Hi, do me next." And then the the, the head will just go tomorrow, and I'm like, "Ah, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> that's grim." Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna bed oh, the Votan. We're gonna kill the goblin because 40k goblins are just actual peak goblin they're like there is they're just a goblin there's no romanceable traits in that and if they are for you (laughs) (laughs) getting getting judged on preferences by arthur is like the absolute final sentence (laughs) <laughs> what the fuck did I do to hurt you so much that you said that? Like, <laughs> no, 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 it's because your tastes are so out there. It's like it's like a professional diagnosing you with something. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think I would agree, though. Uh, you would have to marry the halfling. Yeah, uh, no, fuck that. Yeah. And as much as I would want to kill the Votan for the memes, I would not want to bang a goblin. <laughs> Are we going to have a three per, like a four person <sighs> sweep again? We're just on top of it. Oh, my God. All right. That, that was pretty good. That was fucking splendid. Same brain, brain legs. All right. Or brain waves. Next set, we have some big boys. These are the demon Primarchs that have models to you. Uh, Alpha. Oh, you would pass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pass. <laughs> <laughs> this would be like pretty much the same answer I feel as the. Uh, well, I um, do not actually mind the heralds marrying Magnus <laughs> to an extent. I think a, a one night stand with Angron is a terrifying proposition, but I can just about. Yeah, you fucking would. Yeah, I think so too. Actually, <laughs> just about <laughs> mentally get there because the alternative is Mortarian. How would you even marry Angron? He would just be like, like actually insane. <laughs> Yeah. Simple. Just be angrier. Just be more mad than angry. <laughs> but if you did that, you would have like an aneurysm and die. <laughs> That's the simple answer to that. Just just be super fucking mad the entire time. <laughs> I should come back from the Asher gang and you've snorted yourself into oblivion. <laughs> That's where you go to Agro and you say, hey, want to marry? You have the, 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 the intercourse with Magnus and you shoot Morty in the head. Fucking like so, so coked up. Balanced as all things should be. So fucking cracked. Like you are able to see sounds and hear colors. Like you just walk into <laughs> Angron's room completely butt fucking naked, rigidly rock hard. <laughs> and the only thing you can think is, I know not where I am and I know not who I am. <laughs> All I know is I must kill. <laughs> I like that mental image. It's powerful. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. Okay, <sighs> I'm gonna go last because this one's gonna go. Yeah, long. so I will. I'll, I'll marry. Uh, <laughs> I'll marry Magnus because. Yeah, you fucking. Because I don't Tom. fucking hate Magnus. I just think I just think Magnus is a bit sad, but he's the safe bet here. <laughs> um. I guess I guess I'll have to bed the guy that's gonna break my pelvis, but sure. Uh, and I'm just gonna kill the one that's gonna give me every disease known to man and beyond. <laughs> nah, you gotta fucking break his pelvis. You gotta go do the shit. You guys have been assuming that I'm the one that likes to be battered. No, I'm the one who likes a fair shake. I'm just saying. Confirmed, Arthur Bones. <laughs> Dom's anger. <laughs> <laughs> Spousal abuser, yeah. Fucking grab him by the nails. <laughs> Spousal. <laughs> grab him by the butcher's <laughs> nails. No! <laughs> I, okay, anybody else got anything left or am I allowed to go off on my fucking schizophrenic meltdown? Okay, so... That's God intended. No, I, th- I think I would just agree with Tom. <laughs> I gotta say, 
there's a lot of thoughts going into my head right now. And one of them is, I love the idea that if you were to marry Mortarian, there's going to be a character arc in the near future. Because I remind you that the last words that the Emperor shared with Mortarian is, Don't worry, bitch, I'm coming back! Like, that implies that there's a way to turn back everything that happened because the Emperor said it when possessing Gilliman. I'm paraphrasing, but he basically said that. So, I think that that's cool, but I am going to purge Mortarian, even though I am I'm a Death, Death Guard guy. I think Mortarian is just, even personality, I just find him absolutely repugnant. And canonically, probably the second worst smelling Primarch. I, I think, even in his human form, his second worst smelling Primarch. Um... Then we're going to have to marry... We're going to have to marry Angron because I feel like this would be one of those situations where I will see the man he used to be. I'll see it just clanking around <laughs> in there. And I'll be like, I have hope for a brighter future. Now, come on, let's go pick daisies. Kill people? No, no. Pick daisies. We're going to have a relaxing day. And I'm going to, I'm going to try and be the therapy pet of this man and try and get him to a place where he's not a always angry all I can the change time. him, he says. I can change him. Magnus. <laughs> I take back every sentiment that I have said before. I want everyone to know. <laughs> when it comes to Magnus, <laughs> I want it to be in front of everyone. Huh? <laughs> and I want him to know <laughs> that it is not over until I Jesus say... Jesus Christ! Holy shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want... I wow. want this... Uh, there's going to be a second burning of Prospero by the time I'm fucking done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I want every single thousand Sun member to see how fucking angry I am. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Dear, because he ruined everything and it was all because he didn't know when to just say, no, nah, you know what, maybe dad was right. But if, maybe tone it down. Again, you're at an eight. Bring it down to like a four. You don't got to go to a zero. Just be a psyker a little bit. Just be a... Just be a Jesus insanity. Christ, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. He's lost it. Just be a psyker a little bit. Don't try and break the barrier and ruin the Webway project. There's just... I fucking hate Magnus. I just want to... <laughs> embarrass him. I want to clap bird cheeks so hard that it resounds on the sorcerer's planet for eons to come. I want him to call me back every day afterwards and I will ignore him except for on the fifth call and then I'll be like, oh shit, I thought this was my dad. Boop, and then hang up on that asshole. Arthur's gonna fucking goosh goosh Magnus. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Arthur frightens me. <laughs> but counterpoints to all that, uh, a nipple horns. <laughs> yeah. That implies that I'm going to have give him the dignity of being able to look at him from the front. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I feel like I just double down on the Magnus hate every time to the point where, like, whenever I'm out of character and people are like, oh, what are your thoughts on Magnus? I'm like, yeah, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone full circle. You're so mad at him. You're just like, he's all right. No, I, I, it, 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 I'm like out of character. It's literally just a bit. I don't really care that much about Magnus. It just was like, I, narratively speaking, nah, he fucking blows. But like, okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't, uh, disclaimer, guys, I don't actually hate Magnus that much. It's just a really funny bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. That's the only reason I was subscribed to your channel. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I hit zero in a day. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Channel takes. <laughs> Rip. But yes, yes. Not a single positive answer on this one. So you guys have what I Holy have. Holy fuck. I'm reeling. <laughs> that was frightening. <laughs> yeah. There's so much hate in my tone. How, where does the realness begin and the joke end? You'll never fucking feel know. feel so sorry for Magnus. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, me like the fucking doom guy fighting my way through the sorcerer's planet, him shaking in the fucking valley. <laughs> <laughs> Just to fuck Magnus. 
<laughs> you, we made a deal. <sighs> I killed a thousand sorcerers to do this. <laughs> Oh. I feel a little bit scarred. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little traumatized and I can't put my finger on it. Thousands of years will pass. Surprise, surprise. I'm the guy in the dreadnought throwing the rock at the Helldrake going, Where the fuck is Magnus? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrified. Zarek, how many more of these do you have? <laughs> uh, just one more. We've got the final one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's get through the last one for fuck's sake. I want to die. I'll try and be wholesome. I'll try and be wholesome, I promise. <laughs> All right. So the last one, I'm afraid to say, these are the ones I forewarned about. These are genuinely unfuckable. Well, only one of us has has an escape route left. It's a lies gun, a bolt gun, and a chainsword. <laughs> <laughs> we have a wraith lord, a defiler, and a warlord titan. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> nah, nah, you you doubt, you doubt. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Sick. I, I I don't know. Me and Dutch might be going different angles, but I'm like, you uh. know what? No, oh, this is simple. I can figure out. I can. There's a. He's already defiled Magnus. So he wants to defile the defiler. I need to really call my therapist. <laughs> the con- uh. <laughs> Links this video to your therapist. Therapist quits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, Brad, could you elaborate on this? He's like, <laughs> Connor, what the fuck did you just send me? This is a three-hour podcast. He just stands there with his jaw on the floor for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm defining the defiler. I'm marrying the Warlord Titan, and the Elder can go into the corner where it deserves. Okay, so I gotta ask, for the Warlord Titan, is this the princeps, or is it just, like, the robot? Like, nothing... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the machine spirit. Oh, my God. This is, this is the machine spirit. The machine spirit has awakened... Cause like fucking in the back to tank sounds kind of funny, but I guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can't. So now that that's off the table, <laughs> what that Sun Fury plasma do? Yeah, yeah. Like I just hop in to see the little fish lady that's just like floating around. She's devolved from being in the goop for too long, and I'm just like, ah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so we're gonna marry the the Wraith Lord because, like, I feel like they'd have like a lot of fun stories, and I feel like they need a mm. friend. Wraith Lords are unanimously depressed all the time because they lose the ability to feel physically, but if I remember correctly, they can still feel emotions. It's like the weird inverse of uh, of Necron. Mm. So the Wraith construct, I feel like you could meet up with them and then someday find a way for them to get a new body because, like, I remember vaguely there being mentions that like a spirit stone can be plugged into like another like body at some point. It's complicated, but I know the Yanari have shit for that. So like, I feel like that'd be a fun story of like ups and downs, and I feel like it'd be like again, you also. I have the context of being on a craft world, which is, that's just, pe- that's just heaven on earth. That's just genuinely a peaceful place outside of the warring sector. But like, Wraith Lord, you don't have to worry about them being turned into like, Kayla Mensha Cain or the Avatar of Cain, because they're not like a Phoenix Lord that has to get like, sacrificed for shit. So you don't have to worry about them mm. dying. And if the body gets destroyed, you could just transfer that shit out and get a new one. They could have, they probably have like a civilian model where they're just kind of like, I don't know, five foot nine or some shit. And they're just like, hey, what's up? I'm like, oh, yeah, five nine wraith or you can't tell me that can't exist. It's like the wraith, co- co- like the wraith bone constructs. Yeah, <laughs> five foot nine wraith lord. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could. Yeah, you can make anything with wraith bone. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like fucking tinier civilian models that totally exist that aren't war posts. Because like I feel like the idea of like wraith guard and they could have the iron hand attachments you were mentioning earlier. I, I, this is not even switch out those l- shoulder lasers for some uh, you knows how dare you pervert my wholesome fantasy with my my loving <laughs> guy who has a weird sperm head I, I like him he's cute like he'll introduce me to his thousand year old friends and he'll never have <laughs> like he'll never run out of stories so we're doing that uh defiler uh, no I don't <laughs> <laughs> that you is literally I don't want to okay it never pays to be reductive <laughs> yeah like let's like it never pays to be let me show you why I earned this name you guys could relate after you're done with Magnus you guys could be like yes we are defilers <laughs> <laughs> it, so on a reductionist standpoint 
It is literally just a gun with legs. <laughs> Like, you could look at a spacer and be like, that's just a walking gun. No, Defiler is literally a gun with legs. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to fucking crack the... Sh- <laughs> There's a demon in there. The crab of the shell, like the crack the crab shell to get the soft meats underneath. I feel like that'd be kind of gross. And I know that's rich coming from fucking me, but... <laughs> you have to try harder. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we're going to kill the Defiler. I got, you, just because, you know what, I feel like that wouldn't even be a fun time. And I just, I'll just i just grind up against the toe or section of the toe of the Warlord Titan because I feel like that's the... It'd be embarrassing, but at least I could get it over it's with. It's like in Transformers with a Chihuahua humps Ironhide. That would be you on the Warlord. <laughs> yeah, just to get it over with, because I like uh, the God Emperor is compelling me. The demons are winning. You have to do this. You got to bless it. And I'm like, but everyone's watching. Oh fuck! Uh, please stop. Uh, the Emperor told me to do this. Everybody's like, okay. He's... <laughs> All right. This guy's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's my that's my list. We're gonna we're gonna wed the Wraith Lord. We're gonna purge the Defiler, and we're gonna bed the Titan. <sighs> yeah. I feel like I feel like I do have an answer, but I don't want to be boring, so I want to use the savior just to see what it is. <laughs> oh, that's a deep sigh. Absolutely. L- let's roll to see if you get the savior. And I hope it's the bad one. In fact, I'm rooting for the bad one. It's Magnus again. <laughs> All right, on a four up. But let's see. You get the savior on a one, two, three. You get the bad. All right, let's see. That's a four. <laughs> that's a four. You get the savior. Oh, there we go. Let's see. <laughs> Boom. And you, my friend, get Kyphus Kane. Oh, you would have to marry Kane. Yes. You gotta know who the bad one was. That's that's the best answer, actually. Kai Kai Kyphus Kane? Okay, yeah. Oh, well yeah. I would marry Kane and then I would I actually have three bad ones. Uh bed the warlord just for the experience, and then uh the other two are irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, what was the bad one? I am curious. i I've got three. I've got three if you guys wanna have a look. So <laughs> Yeah. Wait, let's make that the last one. Le- you know if what? If you want, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Everybody loses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody. Lo- we all got the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, out of out of Kaifus Cain, Macarius, and the Emperor, I would want to marry Kaifus Cain just because he's a silly, goofy guy. <laughs> all right, here I'll pull up the I'll pull up the bad ones for everyone to look at. So we have. Oh no! The slot. Rack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A rack goal. Uh, oh, I know this last one. And a hrud. Well, we have to purge the hrud because you would just die. <laughs> like getting within a kilometer of a hrud increases your health insurance premiums just naturally. I mean, uh, it's, it's the sex that makes you old. I don't know why that blanked my mind for a second. That's the hrud. <laughs> yeah. You can just be in a loveless marriage, then I'll be fine. <laughs> So, fun fact, it's actually a misnomer. Um, what is this first one? I've never even seen this thing. <laughs> that is a slot. It is a... That thing makes me sick. A colony of worms that are kind of psychic, but also null. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like uh, the hunters in Halo. Yeah, they get high off of human brains. Yeah, they're also possibly one of the greatest threats in the Imperium, or one of the least threatening things. Oh. It's weird. Uh, it doesn't have a model, so it's no threat. <laughs> So, Rakagal, obviously going to be the bed, because that... I gotta know. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> what that chain arm do? I gotta know, and I gotta write a book about it. <laughs> like, I, like... <laughs> I like how it's also holding an arm, so it looks like it cut off that arm just to put on a chain sword. Yeah, I'm... Like, when I'm done, I will... To be loved is to be changed, type beat. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I am just going to write a memoir of like uh <laughs> how I lost both my legs in one testicle. It's like <laughs> that's the name of the book. We're gonna write it down. It's gonna be like 18 chapters, 300 pages, and it's gonna <laughs> Yeah. And then we're gonna marry the the sloth. So just so I could find out their secrets. Find out if they are a threat or they're just like nah, we just <laughs> they're secretly just really chill dudes. <laughs> Yeah, what if they are? Uh, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <sighs> yeah. yeah, the worms, like, actually physically make me sick. I can't do the worms, man. I can't do the wiggly. I That 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 actually, like, turns on my cryptophobia so bad. So, you know, I am... I am I guess I'm marrying the old, the creature that makes me very old. I am having the intercourse with the thing that... <laughs> 
the thing, and then I am rem- and then I am removing the worm, the worm thing. Yeah, yeah man. I I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'll take. I'll marry the worms. Worms in my brain compel me to kill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to hurt anybody. The worms. The worms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll marry the worms. <laughs> For no other reason than I don't want to get anywhere near the Harad. Fuck that. Oh. Yeah. It's not the mm-hmm. one. I'm sorry, it's not the one. Yeah. Oh. But the worms are gross. Uh, to, to be fair, Harad are actually nice to people. Genuinely, there are accounts of them being kind to human beings. But Yeah, presumably if they agreed to marry me, they would be nice to me, right? <laughs> the butt you die horribly. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole story about how a Hrud saves a guy's life because a guy leaves offerings to the things that live in the dark of the ship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and live happily ever after. And that guy would be me, and then he would marry, and then they would marry me after. Permanent long distance relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Hrud fanfic. Yep. Uh, the, the My Hruddy. It's like hubby, but Hrud. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Icky, yucky, no like. Oh, oh, oh. the me go crazy. My beautiful red wife. <laughs> My beautiful red wife. No, I feel. <laughs> I would write a book called "Me and My Beautiful Red Wife." <laughs> the cover art is just like, oh. like you and her. So it's, it's it's just like you and her at old age, Be passionately making out with it. <laughs> Just sat quaintly in like a jumper on a couch, and you're there, just like a normal old man. And then there's just this massive alien <laughs> just off to the side. <laughs> Not even in the frame. <laughs> yeah, like like the only bit that's in the frame is the bit holding his hand. And she has like a old lady apron or something. Right. <laughs> right. Fuck this. We're, we're See, done. That'd be a beautiful love story for the ages. <laughs> we're finished. <sighs> I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this one. This is terrifying. The torture is at an end. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Next time Tom asks me to be on the podcast, I'm saying no. <laughs> I regret saying yes to these. Yeah, Tom, if you made me do this again, we'd be onto some horrific shit because there's nothing left. There's <laughs> Everything from this point onwards has to just be the worst. Yeah, like, I'll be real. The, the slot were not the worst things. I had, I had to cut out other stuff. What a terrible time to be alive. Yeah, especially for Magnus. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to actually... Oh, no. <laughs> ...brutally defile Magnus. He signed the contract. I'm assuming that's what the conditions are. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, no. All right, fuck this. Fuck this. Let's do some fucking patron questions. Fuck That's this noise. That's crazy. Holy fuck. That's lunacy. Well done making it to the end of part one of this very, very silly video series with Crack Duck and Arthur. If you're enjoying our content and you'd like to support us, please consider taking a quick look at our Patreon. And if you want a chance to interact with myself or any of the other members of the team, please consider joining our Discord. Link down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, right. P- first patron question is from Dyslexion, and Dyslexion asks, if you had to pick an army for Age of Sigma, Sigma what would it be? Alex, which one would you pick? Nighthorn. Nighthorn, excellent choice. Uh, Arthur. I already have, like, three armies, but... Well, you gotta pick one. You gotta pick one, Chief. Spook. Uh, it, it... <laughs> you have to pick one. Easy, Orc Warclans, and if I had to be specific, I'd probably pick the Iron Jaws. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Devin. Base. I would probably pick the Saurus or the Goblins, but probably the Saurus just because they're dinosaurs. Very cool. Zarek. Sky Skaven. Oh, very nice, very nice. I would go with the Soul Blight Grave Lords. Thank you for your question, Dyslexian. Right, let's find one more. Uh, let's see. Who here has a. It's, it's, a, it's a super off topic question. It's not even remotely related to 40k or Warhammer. But Zach, a.k.a. Zach's Pamalama, asks, Are there any alt bands you recommend? Yes, I have several. Go on, Arthur, give us some, give us some alt bands. Uh, so, like, I'll give, like, across the entire spectrum here. Give us some alt bands. Uh, because I've been listening to, like, a bunch of random shit recently. 
Oh, God, I'm drawing a blank. I, I mean, today I've been listening to uh, Go Hang Music. Don't actually listen to those. They're bad. They're actually, like, genuinely one of the worst bands I've ever heard, but I can't stop listening to them. Uh, two words, folk punk alternative, which is bad. Um, well, this is stuff you were recommending. If you recommended one thing, and he calls it bad. <laughs> Are they- I, I hey, you asked for a recommendation, not a good one. I'm just saying. One thing it is bad. <laughs> you that is tech. Yes, you have technically done exactly what was asked of you. That's on me. I've been listening to them. <laughs> There's this little uh, indie alt band I know of. Uh, I think they're called Imagine Dragons or something. <laughs> they're pretty cool. <laughs> I'm brain dead at the moment, so I could normally bring up something because I used to be like a music head, but like yeah. <laughs> You don't know anything about Shinedown? Yeah, I was about to say, that's not exactly an alternative band. I used to listen to so much Shinedown when I was a teenager. Holy crap. Yeah, Shinedown, Linkin Park, AMV, Dragon Ball, Naruto, X, Bleach. Like, I have I live that life. We all... Yeah, but co- fucking Modern Warfare. Call Duty Modern Warfare 2010 montages to Shinedown. Let's go. Ah! Uh, fucking uh, quick shot. No scope, breaking Benjamin. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> there we go, classic era, golden age. Okay, guys, guys, I'm sorry I was born this side of the millennium. Okay. I'm 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 evoking like some kind of ancient like Gen Z millennial curse. Just I evoke you with memories. <laughs> I can hear the sound of hit markers in my sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I, I think we've <laughs> no fun crack duck fact. I always are going. I think this is just a music recommended one. Uh, honestly, Zach, I don't think we're, we're we're particularly helpful with this one. I'll I'll ask the other guys. Does anyone else have any music recommendations since we're here? I, I don't know. Let me just go into my playlist recently, so I got a reminder. I I I, I don't. I, I don't know why. Uh, I'm sorry, it's pretty good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I like Sabrina Carpenter right now. I think she's a generational talent. Uh, um, I felt the desire to say something very mean there to you, Crack Deck, but you know I'm not going <laughs> Don't say it. Don't be mean to Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got one here. Uh, Aviators. Um, uh, All Hallows. Great Halloween song. There you go. That, that's like folk punk, I think. Uh, th- that'll be fun. A good alt band are the people who sang the opening to the Tweenies. There you go. That's 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 my suggestion. My music taste is like very basic. I feel. <laughs> uh, I got. So uh, here's a fun one. Uh, Pensy's Nocturnes. It's like it's a it's a Parisian clown metal band. They're a good alt. Uh, they're all very alternative. Poya de Lune is uh, a very good song. I I like it. So it's put it. Very very much Harlequin music. If you're into the Harlequins, it's it's French clown metal. So just saying. <laughs> just saying. Just saying, <laughs> fuck it, French. I think French clown music is a wonderful. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> uh, bombshell to end this episode on. Just saying. And so, with with that, thank you everyone for watching this absolutely defiled episode <laughs> of the Starship Anonymous podcast. I'm just so sorry, in general. Um, but to be honest, Arthur, the world would be a much darker place without you. You Good. are. <laughs> you are one. You are truly one of a kind. God, fucking. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love how everything you just said is all. It's like in any other context, it's a compliment, but you're one of a kind. I'm like, it, a good kind? <laughs> 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 but nah, of course. I, you're one of a kind, just like Magnus's eye. Yeah, for now. I am. <sighs> here too. Uh, Brighten souls worsen days and tell jokes that I'm probably going to hear aped at me several times uh, on stream where people want me to react, but I'll just be like, yeah, it's okay. I've heard new combinations of words today that I did not know existed, so... Yeah, I'm afraid the thing is though, Arthur, you put, yeah, like, much like what Alex has just said, you put images in my head today that have no right to be there, but there they are, with me forever. I wasn't aware I could see I'm those. I'm going to let you know, Tom. It's your fault. Yeah, no, it is my fault. What did you tell me at the beginning of this stream? This was yeah. Tom's idea. Before we even started. <laughs> it is my fault. I need to, yeah, I should take more accountability for my actions, honestly. 
<laughs> I'd like to submit a formal apology on my own behalf uh, to everybody here and to the audience. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful time. Yeah. Fly off into the warp, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur's off to look for Magnus to do those horrible, unspeakable things he described. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I have any way to bring us back from this, ladies and gents. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and, um, fucking unsubscribe from the gaming storyteller. What Good night. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>